It all started that one family night in Dumfries, Virginia. Family night is for everybody. It's a time for families to do crafts together. The kids just love going to Chick-fil-A for dinner. Being the single mom and getting everybody ready, it was tough. We would get there a little bit late, like on the tail end of it. Helen saw that I was having trouble getting them to Chick-fil-A for the family night on time and actually got it extended another hour. Noticing things like that, I never really told her how much she affected me, but she did. I love you. <laughs> Move. Yeah. Young, healthy patients without glasses, maybe once every five years. So, but if you have glasses, kind of want yearly visits to make sure you're in the in the right spectacles. You know, folks over, over the age of 50 or 55, we generally start wanting yearly visits at that point. Because um, over the age of 50, you have a higher incidence of things like glaucoma, macular degeneration, those kinds of things. Make an appointment today with one of our four doctors at Aiken Ophthalmology. I knew he was in trouble. I didn't really know that it was a heart attack, but I knew he was in trouble. His right coronary artery was 99% blocked and already collapsed. So within 10 minutes, they had put a stent in. I'm so glad that we made that decision to go to Aiken Regional right away. We definitely made the right decision in going to Aiken Regional. I don't think we could have gotten better care. You can't always be there to protect her down the road. Make sure the tire she's riding on will. With a revolutionary Michelin Premier tire, even when half-worn, it's still safe, thanks to Evergrip technology. The Michelin Premier tire, safe when new, safe when worn. I always ask myself, would I want me to represent me? Would I want a lawyer who is prepared, who is passionate, who is capable? And every day that we represent our clients, we're telling our clients that you can count on us to bring every skill, every ability, and all of our passion in representing your interests. That's what it means to count on Chandler. That, that means that you can count on us to fight for you. I always ask myself, would I want me to represent me? Would I want a lawyer who is prepared, who is passionate? Embrace is on assignment to where we really don't know, but we put him on assignment. And he'll come back next week for the big Aiken South Aiken game. But tonight, here at Strom Thurmond, we have the Aiken Standard Managing Editor, Mike Harris. Mike, How welcome back. Thank you. I, it was, you know what? It was a year ago today that we went to Williston Elko. And it was uh, Rich Springmanetta and Wilson Elko. It was my first week here in South Carolina coming up from Florida. Uh, I, we had an hour and a half lightning delay. <laughs> no, no. And I'm looking no, up no, at the even, clouds. Don't even talk about that. I've forgotten <laughs> all about that. I, I, I would imagine that in the last year you've learned a lot about all the high school football in yep. Aiken. So yeah. you're Actually, ready I've, been to go. To a, I've been to a few games this year. Uh, of course, we didn't go last week because of, well, Flo, Florence. But anyway, we, uh, yeah, I went to North Augusta. I saw them three weeks ago, was it? Yeah, it was three yeah. weeks ago. Yeah, we are at, uh, against Grovetown. Or was it two weeks ago? Well, either way. Uh, when they played Grovetown, um, I was uh, impressed with them. They had a nice defense. Very good uh, defense. Going in there. Um, uh, Tanner White engineered the team very well. It was the defense that actually turned it around on Grovetown of Georgia. Uh, they um, uh, had an interception late. Pick six, uh, or was in the second, early in the second half, and uh, that turned the game around. Well, I would assume there. this is your first time at Strom Thurmond. It is my first time at Strom Thurmond. I drove up here from Aiken, and I took some roads that my navigation in the car said, uh, "Go ahead and take it." And I was wondering, <laughs> where was I going? <laughs> it's one of the beauties of being a native of the area. I came right to it. This is one of the best places, if not the best places, that we come to. A beautiful facility, the uh, Strom Thurmond Athletics training center right over here in the north end zone the south end zone back here with the big scoreboard with the animated stuff on it it's a it's a great place and the best thing is the press box is cooled and heated <laughs> yeah. so we can go either way with hot or cold here we strom don't, thurman though we don't need it heated <laughs> well strom thurman very good football team i expect this to be a really good football game today. yeah i'm looking forward to it because I've, I've heard so much about jaquan harris and and uh, stanley hill stanley hill's got over 600 yards rushing this year so far in, in five games 
That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Jaquan Harris has over 350 yards rushing in, in five games, too. So you can tell they're going to run the ball a lot. And, so, and North Augusta's defense is, you know, they're very good against the run. And so this is going to be really a good one. On the other side of the coin, you get North Augusta, and Tanner Hill is getting 70% of his passes. But he's not throwing it very far. He's not taking it downfield. So see if tonight if he's going to go downfield a little bit with it. All right, we've got a good game. We'll talk a little bit more about this later on. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll look at some of the other games going on in the area when we return to the pregame show of the Aiken Standard Game of the Week. I had back issues for a while. I kept going back with different complaints. My doctor, he said, surgery's not going to do you any good. So he said, I would recommend to you therapy. After therapy, it sounds a lot better. I'm so grateful for that. I'm a lot better. Thanks to Aiken Regional Hospital for the joy that was put back into my life. Now I'm able to get on the floor and play with the children. And it's just a relief. It all started that one family night in Dumfries, Virginia. Family night is for everybody. It's a time for families to do crafts together. The kids just love going to Chick-fil-A for dinner. Being the single mom and getting everybody ready, it was tough. We would get there a little bit late, like on the tail end of it. Helen saw that I was having trouble getting them to Chick-fil-A for the family night on time and actually got it extended another hour. Noticing things like that, I never really told her how much she affected me, but she did. Love you. <laughs> Move. Yeah. Yeah. Move. Young, healthy patients without glasses, maybe once every five years. So, but if you have glasses, kind of want yearly visits to make sure you're in the, in the right spectacles. You know, folks over, over the age of 50 or 55, we generally start wanting yearly visits at that point. Because um, over the age of 50, you have a higher incidence of things like glaucoma, macular degeneration, those kinds of things. Make an appointment today with one of our four doctors at Aiken Ophthalmology. Back to the pregame show for tonight's Aiken Standard Young. Game of the Week. We are at Strom Thurmond High School in Strom Thurmond Stadium, enjoying a little Imagine Dragons, getting us ready to go. Uh, I don't even, I don't, uh, I'm not Imagine Dragons fan, so. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a look at some of the other games. Uh, we'll talk about this one again in a little while, but going first, Midland Valley at Barnwell tonight. Uh, Midland Valley 0-4 on the season, Barnwell 4-0. A little bit of a mismatch, maybe. Perhaps, uh, but... You never know, Midland Valley, they play Grove Town uh, uh, pretty well all the way through the first half. Back. It's going to be Barnwell. <laughs> you know, Barnwell's just too strong. They're just a powerhouse. Well, we opened the season with Midland Valley. Midland Valley did a great job against uh, Grove Town, which you talked about playing North Augusta. Uh, much bigger school. Midland Valley, though, a little bit on the downside this year. Barnwell may be one of the best schools yeah, in the area. They're one of the best, better schools probably in the state, so I, I'd give them that much and, But Colin Damaris. That's his upset special of the week. He picks yeah. Millen Valley to win. He's got to catch up. That's part, of, that's part of his thing. Yeah, well, he is in last place. We will note that. All right, Silver Bluff is at Swansea's. Another 0-4 team, Swansea. Silver Bluff off to a good start, 2-1. and one. Yeah, it's kind of an, I don't know if that's really a surprise. I think everybody kind of knew Silver Bluff was going to be better. I think now we're just seeing it, you know, and so I think Silver Bluff again, I think they're going to be uh, pretty strong in this game. I think that Silver Bluff is going to take them on. Yeah, Silver Bluff doing a good job with their new coach. They uh, lost to Barnwell at home right. by a touchdown. Now, that's not really a knock against them. Barnwell's very good, as we said just a minute ago. Yeah. So, you, you know, that was a big game. Um, and, and come within a touchdown even of Barnwell, that kind of is maybe a measuring stick right there. You know, it yeah. shows you how good Silver Bluff can be. From a standpoint of a game that you need to be careful of, Swansea, Historically, pretty good team. They played very close. I think less than six points in three of their games. They got blown out by Wade Hampton at Wade Hampton. Right. But when you look at this, you're going to Swansea. They need to be careful going up there tonight. Right. All right, Fox Creek is at Crescent. And this was your upset special of the, uh, the week. Yeah, I took Fox Creek. You, know, you took Crescent. I took Crescent. You I was took Crescent. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I'll also note that Mike is next to last with Needed to make well, some ground you up. Know, Fox Creek is, you know, I, we sit there and, you know, they're doing well this year. But is it, is it just this year? Is it in the first couple games? Let's see. Well, the two weeks ago, you missed the game. Fox Creek looked very good. Offensively, could have really probably scored twice as many points on McCormick. McCormick, you know, a little weak. Fox Creek's a pretty good team. I think they'll be 
able to handle and, and Crescent. If I remember correctly, Crescent. I took McCormick in that game too. So, so I'm, I'm a big loser. Fox, <laughs> Fox Creek's schedule gets progressively harder from here on out. Right. They've got right. some of these schools up here in Edgefield County. Uh, well, Saluda. Right. They got Saluda coming up. Don't know that they play Strom Thurmond, but uh, we will have them later in the year at Silver Bluff. I think that's the last game of the year. Williston Elko is at Ridge Spring Mineta. Both teams one and two looking for a big win now. You know, when I came down on this one, they're one and two, and, and really what I was thinking was, this is gonna be possibly even. There, they, there's kind of a little bit of a rivalry with that game, which we saw last year. We saw Williston Elko come back and win that game last year. I'm going with Ridge Spring Mineta this team because it's at home. So that's the main reason why I'm going to home field advantage there. Yeah, I, Ridge Spring, that's, this is going to be a pretty good game. Williston looking to bounce back. They got beat pretty badly. They did beat Blackville, I think it was. Yeah. And uh, going forward, this is a pretty good matchup. So yeah. it'd be interesting. But I agree with you. Ridge Spring at home would be tough. Now, Wagner and Sally, 2-1 and one on the season. Is it Blackville Hilda? Yeah, two and one. both 2-1. and one. Although I'm giving Wagner much more better chance in this game. I think Wagner is just a better overall team. They shouldn't even be 2-1. I think he should be 3-0. and But... but Wagner's probably a pretty good team. I would think that they'd be able to handle Blackville on the road, but we'll see. Both of yep. them being two and one. Of course, we'll have the scores on during halftime, and somebody will prove me wrong. And <laughs> South Aiken and Aiken, both with open dates. Both with open dates, and, and those could be the toughest games of all, is those open dates. <laughs> but no, they're getting ready for next week against each other. You know? So we'll be there next week at Aiken High School for South Aiken, traveling across town for that game, a tradition like no other. <laughs> Maybe, but at any rate, we'll uh, take a break and we'll come back and we'll talk about tonight's game here. Strom Thurman playing host to North Augusta when we return in the pregame show for the Aiken Standard Game of the Week. You can't always be there to protect her down the road. Make sure the tire she's riding on will. With a revolutionary Michelin Premier tire, even when half-worn, it's still safe, thanks to Evergrip technology. The Michelin Premier Tire, safe when new, safe when worn. A quick turnaround here in the pregame show <laughs> for tonight's game. We're you on the campus hold. of Strom Thurmond High School at Strom Thurmond Stadium, where the Red Rebels are taking on the Yellow Jackets from North Augusta. It's uh, it's the kind of game that over the years, I know you've only been here a year, right? but this is a heck of a rivalry. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Well, you got the, <coughs> the, the big deal here, Edgefield <laughs> County line, North Augusta's right on it. And then the, the guys who were growing up just over the county line were supposed to go to Strom Thurmond. Well, right. a lot of them ended up in North Augusta. And that always is sort of a bone of contention. Fox Creek has kind of ended that, Fox Creek now in that area. So they get the athletes pretty much stay at Fox Creek now. But in the old days, ah, there was always some pointing fingers about that type of thing. And they played some great football games. Right, right. They had like four overtimes here a couple of years ago. We were here for that. Uh, North Augusta rolled out the carpet and uh, the new field over there at North Augusta. Strom Thurmond came in and upset them in that opening game with the new carpet. It's, it's a rivalry that's got a lot of personality. I'm looking forward to it. It's, it. it sounds like a really great game, and, and uh, just seeing the size of these, the two, it looks like the two teams match up well against each other. Um, you know, you could probably say you're a little surprised North Augusta's only 3-1 uh, and one right now, you know? Um, they, they, they lost to Blythewood a couple weeks ago, and, and it's kind of like, hmm, interesting, you know? And if they lose today, it'll be 3-2, and two, and that's going to be a big surprise, you know? But it won't be so shocking that Strom Thurmond would be 5-1. and one. Well, and that's true. Both of them played some tough games. Strom Thurmond lost their game to South Aiken in a tough matchup. South Aiken was really looking to, to get that win. Because they were 0-2 uh, on the start. 0-2, so they shut them out. So that's an interesting game. Played Aiken tough, and Aiken has struggled quite a bit. I don't guess these people see the camera and us talking. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> some did. Many don't. But at any rate, the... Um, the fact of the matter is, is that you can throw it out. You know, you talked about it in the opening. North Augusta's defense, very, very good. The offense, I wasn't impressed at all with them in that game against Grovetown. Right. They made a lot of mistakes. They feed it fed off of the mistakes that Grovetown made, and Grovetown was, was awful. Right. right. They, they, and it was weird because Grovetown started off uh, slow, 
they kind of caught up a little bit toward in the second half, and then they had that interception. Whereas, again, Grovetown against Midland Valley started off slow. And so I'm not talking about Grovetown as much as the defense did their job and the offense was adequate. Now the defense really stepped up in that second half and put it to Grovetown. So. That's right. And now the officials don't see us either, so hopefully they'll see the penalties better when they get out on the field. <laughs> At any rate, Strom Thurmond's band's out here on the field. They're ready to play the national anthem. So we'll take a break. They'll play the national anthem, and we'll go up to the booth and get ready for tonight's kickoff. That's been the pregame show for tonight's Aiken Standard Game of the Week. We'll return from North Augusta visiting here at Storm Thurman. I always ask myself, would I want me to represent me? Would I want a lawyer who is prepared, who is passionate, who is capable? And every day that we represent our clients, we're telling our clients that you can count on us to bring every skill, every ability, and all of our passion in representing your interests. That's what it means to count on Chandler. That, that means that you can count on us to fight for you. Aiken Ophthalmology provides high quality, comfortable, and dependable treatment in Aiken and North Augusta. With our newly expanded facility, we now have four experienced physicians that are up to date on the latest procedures, and our surgery center offers the finest eye care technology available to better serve you. Make your appointment today with Aiken Ophthalmology. I had back issues for a while. I kept going back with different complaints. My doctor, he said, surgery's not gonna do you any good. So he said, I would recommend to you therapy. After therapy, it's I'm a lot better. I'm so grateful for that, I'm a lot better. Thanks to Aiken Regional Hospital for the joy that was put back into my life. Now I'm able to get on the floor and play with the children. And it's just a relief. It all started that one family night in Dumfries, Virginia. Family night is for everybody. It's a time for families to do crafts together. The kids just love going to Chick-fil-A for dinner. Being the single mom and getting everybody ready, it was tough. We would get there a little bit late, like on the tail end of it. Helen saw that I was having trouble getting them to Chick-fil-A for the family night on time and actually got it extended another hour. Noticing things like that, I never really told her how much she affected me, but she did. I love you. <laughs> Move. 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 Young, healthy patients without glasses, maybe once every five years. So, but if you have glasses, kind of want yearly visits to make sure you're in the in the right spectacles. You know, folks over, over the age of 50 or 55, we generally start wanting yearly visits at that point. Because um, over the age of 50, you have a higher incidence of things like glaucoma, macular degeneration, those kinds of things. Make an appointment today with one of our four doctors at Aiken Ophthalmology. I knew he was in trouble. I didn't really know that it was a heart attack, but I knew he was in trouble. His right coronary artery was 99% blocked and already collapsed. So within 10 minutes, they had put a stent in. I'm so glad that we made that decision to go to Aiken Regional right away. We definitely made the right decision in going to Aiken Regional. I don't think we could have gotten better care. You can't always be there to protect her down the road. Make sure the tire she's riding on will. With a revolutionary Michelin Premier tire, even when half-worn, it's still safe, thanks to Evergrip technology. The Michelin Premier tire, safe when new, safe when worn. I always ask myself, would I want me to represent me? Would I want a lawyer who is prepared, who is passionate, who is capable? And every day that we represent our clients, we're telling our clients that you can count on us to bring every skill, every ability, and all of our passion in representing your interests. That's what it means to count on Chandler. That, that means that you can count on us to fight for you. 
Aiken Ophthalmology provides high quality, comfortable, and dependable treatment in Aiken and North Augusta. With our newly expanded facility, we now have four experienced physicians that are up to date on the latest procedures. And our surgery center offers the finest eye care technology available to better serve you. Make your appointment today with Aiken Ophthalmology. I had back issues for a while. I kept going back with different complaints. My doctor, he said, surgery's not gonna do you any good. So he said, I would recommend to you therapy. After therapy, it sounds a lot better. I'm so grateful for that, I'm a lot better. Thanks to Aiken Regional Hospital for the joy that was put back into my life. Now I'm able to get on the floor and play with the children. And it's just a relief. It all started that one family night in Dumfries, Virginia. Family night is for everybody. It's a time for families to do crafts together. The kids just love going to Chick-fil-A for dinner. Being the single mom and getting everybody ready, it was tough. We would get there a little bit late, like on the tail end of it. Helen saw that I was having trouble getting them to Chick-fil-A for the family night on time and actually got it extended another hour. Noticing things like that, I never really told her how much she affected me, but she did. Love you. <laughs> Move. 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 Young, healthy patients without glasses, maybe once every five years. So, but if you have glasses, kind of want yearly visits to make sure you're in the, in the right spectacles. You know, folks over, over the age of 50 or 55, we generally start wanting yearly visits at that point. Because um, over the age of 50, you have a higher incidence of things like glaucoma, macular degeneration, those kinds of things. Make an appointment today with one of our four doctors at Aiken Ophthalmology. It's Strom Thurmond Stadium on the campus of Strom Thurmond High School, about halfway between Edgefield and Johnston on the Columbia Road here in Edgefield County, where tonight the North Augusta Yellow Jackets have traveled up the road to take on one of their arch rivals, the Strom Thurmond Rebels. And tonight's Aiken Standard Game of the Week. Hi, everybody. I'm Ed Gerardo. I'll be doing the play-by-play. -play. I'm joined by Mike Harris tonight. He'll be filling in the color for Ken Brace, who is out coloring somewhere on the road. Yeah, he's on vacation, isn't he? I don't know where. <laughs> I think he stays on vacation, but yeah. and he honors us on Friday nights by uh, being around. Oh, so he's on permanent vacation, retired vacation. Yes, he yeah, is. Some of us still have to work, Ken. Thanks for doing that. But. Um, it's kind of weird that North Augusta brings their uh, tunnel with them. Oh yeah, North Augusta likes to travel and do what they can to intimidate. I'm surprised they don't have the uh, motorcycles out there, the hogs, <laughs> in the parking lot, but probably Strom Thurmond wouldn't necessarily go for that. The captains are meeting at midfield, and we'll go over who the captains are. Ford Williams is number 44 for Strom Thurmond. Number 60 is Oren Williams. Don't know if there's any relation there between them. Mm. Uh, number 57 is Charles McCoy. He is a guard nose guard. I'm sure looking at him, he's going to be stopping up the middle. And then uh, on the far right there is number 36, and that's Robert Witt, who's one of the leading tacklers on the team. For North Augusta on the other side. I'm sure it's number 36 is uh, uh, Karen Collier. Uh, the quarterback... Tanner White. Uh, Tanner White is out there. Number 21 is Chris Torres. And I didn't get the fourth number. North Augusta won the toss. They declined to the second half. So that means Strom Thurmond will receive. North Augusta will defend the south goal. And uh, that's number eight. And their standout wide receiver, LaMarcus Monroe is the other captain for North Augusta. Okay, the captains will head back to join their teammates and we'll be headed toward kickoff here shortly. Again, this is a game that no matter which team has the better record, you kind of throw it out, but both teams come in with just one loss. One loss. Uh, North Augusta's game, of course, last week was uh, canceled. Um, Strom played Thursday night, so they North Augusta's had two weeks off after their loss to Blythewood. 
Uh, Strom Thurmond's had eight days off since their win uh, last week. So and what's interesting, North Augusta actually had an open date last week. That was their oh, bye really? week. Oh, okay. yeah, so they oh. didn't have a game canceled. They actually were off, and they were able to concentrate all week on Strom Thurmond while Strom did have the football game. They had to play. Uh, they had to travel up the road. Uh, starts with an E. Uh, I'm not going to remember it right now off the top of my head. They won easily uh, that particular game, and they got to work on North Augusta. I don't see that as much of, a, of an advantage for North Augusta getting through. But both teams head right. out to the field at the same time. Good crowd on the visitor's side for North Augusta. They always travel well, especially to this game. And, of course and then full on this side. A healthy crowd here on this side. It's a beautiful night, it's b light breeze blowing across. It's uh, in the mid 80s, the humidity's not too high, so it's, it's really not too bad. And the best part about it is we're in a booth that's air conditioned. Exactly. Next week we'll be in the hot box over at Aiken High and Haygood Stadium where the temperatures can get to 150 degrees. We look forward to that and being maybe 10 pounds lighter by the end of the game. Maybe not, because I did see the weather forecast for next week, and it looks like 79 for a high and 61 for a low. So that'll work yeah. along the way. <laughs> All right, both teams huddle up, kick team, receive team. Again, Strom Thurmond will be receiving. North Augusta dressed in their all whites with blue piping on the side and their gold helmets. Strom Thurmond on the other hand in all blue. Blue pants, blue shirts. Isn't there a college nearby that plays this song? Sandstorm? Uh, yeah, I guess <laughs> South Carolina <laughs> plays that. Bridges I was is thinking, the... I was thinking Wofford. It could be. <laughs> See, that's number 22. Three in North Augusta. Is Thir it 33? Yeah. Uh, is this roster, which is a picture, is Tyler Nichols. That's right. Tyler Nichols is the kicker. He kicks away, and we're underway. Whoops. Goes off fingertips into the end zone. I'm sure he'll down yeah. it. It's automatic. Touchback for Strom Thurmond. They'll start at the 20 yard line. Chandler Law Firm, first and 10. So North Augusta won the toss, elected to defer to the second half when they'll receive, and they put their defense out here on the field. And I would think that plays right into what North Augusta wanted. They were certainly much stronger on defense led by these linebackers. I tell you what, Collier th uh, is, is the, the name brand here, but Chris Torres had a heck of a game three weeks ago. I mean, he was all over the field. I swear he was not making every tackle. Hand off this is Hill is... Mike talked about the leading rusher in the area. Got two yards, it'll bring up second down and eight. I imagine they'll keep going with him. And I, I, I could see Jaquan Harris taking off and running too. Harris will throw the football. I think he's 33 of 67 on the season, maybe 36. Kind of try to jet sweep. A little jet sweep action that's going to lose four yards. It's going to bring up third down and long as they're back behind the original line of scrimmage. About the 18-yard line. And Chris Torres was in on the tackle. And there's, here we go, the North Augusta defense like we talked about. So <coughs> they're getting exactly what they wanted. So Strom Thurman. Sets up with three wide to the right, one to the left, one back in the backfield. Snap back, quarterback rolls to his right, gonna go downfield. Had a man out there, throws it out of bounds though, no chance to complete that. So three and out for uh, North Augusta. That's what but North about. Augusta specializes in. Let's see what we can get, uh, if they can get the field position now. Receiving will be number eight, which is Demarcus Moore. Demarcus was outstanding in a punt return in the North Augusta game against Grovetown that we saw earlier. The kicker is Bledsoe, kicks it away. 
It's going to be wild. It's going to be Next. short. And that be no return. Gets a good Strom Thurmond bounce to the 43-yard line, and that's where North Augusta will take over Chandler Law Firm. First and 10 for the Yellow Jackets as they get their first possession of the ball game. Now they got this short porch to, to score here, so. Of course, I'm anxious to see the Strom Thurmond defense, too. The, you know, um, Eric Russell was talking about how that uh, you know, Strom doesn't mind getting in a shootout if, uh, if it has to be. North Augusta, tight end, pistol formation, man in motion, goes to the wide side of the field. Throws to his right, short pass, not much room to run, going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. No gain, second down and 10 coming up. Got to love good defensive battles. <laughs> Maybe that's what we get to start off with. Matthew Pickett on the reception. Tanner White makes the call. Two split wide to the left. Comes man in motion. Looks inside, bounces out. Hey, got it. Got some room to run. Cuts inside, going to cross the 50 into <coughs> Rebel territory. And I believe he'll have enough for the first down as he's yep. past the 47-yard line, the 46 and a half. That'll be enough to move the change. Chandler Law Firm, first and 10 for Strom for North Augusta. That was a good little move. He had uh, nowhere to go going up the middle, so he bounced outside and there was nobody there. As we look at the Aiken ophthalmology, did you see that replay? Three split wide to the short side. Quick out. Tended once again for Pickett. He couldn't come up with it. Pass is incomplete, second down and 10. Now they split three wide to the wide side of the field. Tight end on the left side. Pistol formation, hands off. Nice hole. Button, he's got room to run. He's going to cross 35, be down right at the 35. And that's their big back Brunson. So that's good enough for another Yellow Jacket. First down, Chandler Law Firm, first and 10 from the 35. Jackets moving the football on the ground. Starting to think they don't have to uh, throw it. Showing the pass for show and running it. Tight end now lined up on the right side, wide side of the field. White drops back under pressure. Going to be sacked. Go oh, fumble the football. North Augusta going to recover it. Yep. Down at the 43-yard line, it's be a loss of eight yards. That'll bring up third, no, second down and 18. Number 74 on the recovery, and I can't read our roster here because it's well, half gray and dark. Yes, <laughs> I think Eric took a picture of this. <clears throat> May have to turn on the lights. <laughs> yeah, well, I hit the switch, and we get nothing. <laughs> North Augusta looking fast, going to go short out in the flat and, and it. can't hang on. Brunson again was the intended receiver. So it's going to bring up the first third down of this drive for North Augusta, third and 18. I think this is a situation where North Augusta will try to get maybe half of it and go for it on fourth down. Um, you probably have to. I mean, Tanner White is not, you know, again, like I said in the pregame show, he's not really thrown anything downfield. So, and again, he hasn't yet this game so far. Of course, we're only halfway through the first quarter, so I'm not going to you know, doubt it, but he might do it this time. Straight drop back. Fakes. Going to run, going to lose yardage. Yep. And I believe the punting unit will be on the field as this was going to back him up to the 46-yard line. Loss of three. It'll be fourth down in 21. So North Augusta's drive stalls after picking up two first downs in Rebel territory. And punting unit will come out on the field. 
Actually, he threw it. He, he pitched it underhand past the line of scrimmage. So, so they do bring it back. Vision. So it's fourth down and 18. It's the punt away. Good kick. Fair catch called for. Caught at the eight-yard line. We'll call it the nine. That'll be a channel law firm. First and ten for Strom Thurman. And Strom Thurman will have their second possession of the first half. Fair catch on Clock says 8.07. Left to play here in the opening quarter. They do mark it at the eight yard line. That's funny. I know people can't see here in the booth, but I have to lean back, look at the booth through the window of the booth next to me through that window to see it because there's a big pole right in the way. <laughs> Harris, yeah. little jump in and front. Let's see if there's on North Augusta. Were they drawn offsides? Officials meet and talk about it. Are they thinking about it? Still? It is going to be offsides against North Augusta as they walk off five yards. <coughs> Remains first down, first and five. That's some uh, free breathing room for the, uh, for the Rebels. I would imagine they'd go with Hill. Or maybe even Harris. It's Hill. Hill Ooh. scoots in. That was a nice arm tackle, whoever made that. Picked up a yard. 99. So it'll be second and four. Power formation here. Tight end on the right side, two backs behind the tight end, and a back to the left of Harris. They hand it off and try to get to the Three edge. Four. He gets to the edge, turns into the 20, and that'll be enough for the first down as they needed to make the 18. So Chandler Law Firm, first and 10, Strom Thurman picks up their first first down of the first half. I think that's what Strom Thurman's gonna have to do. They're gonna have to spread it out to the outside for, for them. There you see Stanley Hill's statistics on the year. Now he's going to keep Will Harris. He's not going to get very far. In fact, he'll lose yardage. We'll see if they give him his forward progress. Got pulled back. But that was Torres. He's going to be in there a lot. They do give him his forward progress to the... I believe that's the 19 yard line, so it'll bring up second down and 11, loss of one. Two split wide to the right, one to the left. A little juke motion, a little block, and Harris cannot squirt yeah. through. Again, this is uh, trying to go up the middle against North Augusta is going to be brutally tough. You get Torres and Collier both there. In the middle, it's the only way you're going to do is try to run around them. Collier, the leading tackler on the team on the year. Again, those linebackers, very, very strong for North Augusta. So third down, got about a half a yard on that play. Back to pass. Going to scramble now. Gonna have to look, gonna throw, throw this away. one away. Out of bounds. Almost into the And that'll stands. be fourth down. The punting unit will come on for their second punt of the game. Strom Thurman, though they were able to get out of the shadow a little bit, pick up a first down. They're still deep in their own territory and they'll punt it back to North Augusta. Again, more deep to receive for the Yellow Jackets. And North Augusta should get it in good field position again. It's their defense. Holding them in, uh, in check. And where Grovetown lost it was making mistakes. It's the kick away. It's going to come up short. And, does and, that. and this is a North Augusta bounce as it goes back into Rebel territory. And it'll be at the 45-yard line. Chandler Law Firm first and 10 for North Augusta. Yeah, Strom didn't get the benefit of the, uh, the, the, the nice bounce they had before. 5.42 left to go here in the first quarter. That's a different No score. 
and that's a difference of 13 yards. Actually, this is about where North Augusta stopped, uh, was stopped on the last drive. Yeah, they were the 43 when they punted, mm -hmm. so they didn't lose much on the exchange. A little cross buck action there. And uh, I think that that was Brunson. And, and number eight. No, number eight is Moore. Yeah. But I believe that's number six. No, it's number eight. You're right. So, number eight. Eight more gets in on the action from the running back position. Use Brunson as the decoy. Whoop. And now yeah. Strom Thurman jumps off sides. <coughs> well, it was spotted at the 42. They picked up three yards on the last play. This will give them five more. Brings up sec second down and two. Not going to run. He's, gonna get the first. he's also a pretty good runner. He's got some yep. yardage on the season running the ball. He's going to pick up the first down to the 20, make it 31. So the Yellow Jackets, another Chandler Law Firm, first and 10. They're in business in their second drive of the first half. That was clearly a run option there. He, he really didn't have anybody open, and so he saw the little lane. Three split wide to the left, one to the right. Little toss back to Brunson. Brunson got some room to run over there. Gets back inside. He's down to the 15, 14 yard line. That's more, That's more again. Yeah. And again, more dynamic runner from that, what we saw from his receiving ability in the first game and on punt returns. Now he's showing it from the backfield. Now I wonder if uh, Brunson's hurt. Because Moore's still in there as a running back. And now Storm yeah. jumps Storm. again. And White giving him the hard count. So that's uh, 10 free yards on this drive. Offsides. That'll be a first down. Moves the chains again. Chandler Law Firm, first and 10. And fakes to Moore. This time White keeps, gets to the 15 yard line. Pick up of three yards. Second down and seven coming up. So far, this is a really good drive for North Augusta. Drive stalled 35 yard line on their opening drive as they lost yardage back to the 43. This time in the red zone. Man in motion coming to the left. Now, Oops. just Oops. that's going to be called a fumble. Storm Thurman picked it up. No, they're calling an incomplete pass. Oh. And I was going to say he threw it forward. I don't see how it's yeah. a fumble. Right. He did a sort of a shuttle pass to from his chest, the chest pass like in basketball. We'll see if we've got the Aiken Ophthalmology replay on that one. A little odd looking play. They're gonna bring up third down and seven from the 15 yard line. It's third down. Now clearly he has to throw. Two tight ends. A split receiver on either side. And the back more next to White. Ooh, snap kind of caught him a little off guard, made the catch. Now he's going to have pressure from behind. Throws the ball. He was close to touchdown. touchdown. North Augusta makes the catch in the end zone. Number three with the catch. And North Augusta's on the board. Six flag. to nothing. There's a flag. 
So let's hold on before the celebration for North Augusta and see what the call is. I'm wondering if he wasn't over the line of scrimmage. I was thinking he was awfully close to the line of scrimmage. Again, we'll see if we can get the waved off. They waved off the flag. Touchdown. Touchdown. And I think that is what you're right, Mike. I think they were checking on that, mm -hmm. looked at it, and said, no, he was behind the line of scrimmage when he, he threw it. He probably dug in somewhere, and it was just before the line of scrimmage with his foot. So. <laughs> We give credit to Tanner White, you know, we, I criticized him for not throwing downfield, and there he goes. He threw downfield, and it's a touchdown, so there we go. Kick is up. Kick is good. North Augusta leads 7 and nothing. We'll take our first break of the evening. You're watching the Dakin Standard Game of the Week. I knew he was in trouble. I didn't really know that it was a heart attack, but I knew he was in trouble. His right coronary artery was 99% blocked and already collapsed. So within 10 minutes, they had put a stent in. I'm so glad that we made that decision to go to Aiken Regional right away. We definitely made the right decision in going to Aiken Regional. I don't think we could have gotten better care. With the seven to nothing lead, 331, 337 left to go here in the first quarter. Big night at Strom Thurmond. They are introducing the inaugural Strom Thurmond High School Hall of Fame, Athletics Hall of Fame. They got six inductees. We'll talk about them a little bit later. And an interesting group to talk about. All right, North Augusta with the first score. Kicks away. Going to be returned. It's number 11. Oh, wow. Hit hard. Number four was Darian Gibson, one of the linebackers for North Augusta, makes the tackle. Number 11 is Josh Pixley. And, and folks, now we can see the numbers. If you haven't noticed, Ed's reading the number, reading the names properly because <laughs> we actually have lights on in the press box now. So it does, <laughs> it does help. <laughs> it is tremendous. All right, turning the lights on also puts glare on the windows. Yes, it All does. right, then North Augusta stacks them up. Came through and Balls on the run. see the replay on this. That's one of the outstanding Torres. linebackers. Torres comes up and hits him hard, knocks him down right at the line of scrimmage, second down and 10. Strom Thurman in the early going, having a hard time moving the ball. This is their third possession of the ball game. Back to pass. Now under pressure from behind, sacked at the 15-yard line. <coughs> Another one of those linebackers. Charles Hammond. He's actually an end. He came around the edge, got in there, made the sack. Loss of four yards, third down and 14 coming up. North Augusta got their ears back, looking to gap them. <coughs> Here they come. Quick out pass, makes a man miss. Tackled quickly at the 24 yeah. yard line. It'll be short of a first down. They'll bring up another fourth down, a punting situation for Strom Thurman. And with that blitz coming, he didn't have much chance of anything except get the ball out there and hope he can make a miss. But again, uh, you know, it's uh, the always thing you never you're crossing the 50 yard line is an accomplishment. Strom Thurman struggling across their own 20, you know, this game so far. Three possessions, one first down. And that first down was done basically in part by a five yard penalty. Hunter Bledsoe again kicking for the third time. Comes up short, more kind of let it play him. And as it is, the ball is going to be at the 44-yard line of North Augusta, and Strom Thurman has their back backed up here. They need to 
get out here and make some plays on defense and maybe help their offense get out of that hole that you're referring to. Right. How do you think, that, you know, North Augusta's three possessions, this is their third possession that they're starting with. They started the 42, the 45 of Strom Thurmond, and now the 44 of their own. So really good field position for them. It's a way to take control of the game. Makes it easy. Two split wide to the right, one to the left. Flanker in tight, and back in the backfield. Little cross action there, and they're going to lose a couple of yards. The ball squirted out, but they called him down that was again. at He's the 41-yard line. So Brunson is back in the game. After Moore carried the load there on the first or the first scoring drive. Lost three yards, second down 13. And that's uh, Strom's defense needs to hold right now, not 15, 20 yards downfield. They need to hold now. They've done a good job on first down. It's second down where they've been killed. Uh, White going to keep, it. he's going to go down and lose another yard back to the 40 yard line. That'll bring up third down and 14. We've got a nice breeze coming in here now. We opened up the windows and uh, there's doors open and it just wind tunnel. <laughs> so a big third down play for Strom Thurman to try to keep the not. Yellow Jackets. I wonder if they're going to snap it before yeah, Here comes the rush up the middle. Now rolling to his right. Not going to pick up the first down. Run out of bounds. Well short. Needed to cross midfield, needed to get to the 46 yard line to pick up the first down. He'll be spotted down at the 45. So to bring up fourth down and nine. And the Rebels hold. And the Yellow Jackets will punt again. Nichols on to do the punting. Nichols, a good punter and kicker, one of the best in the area, certainly that we've seen this year. This will probably be the last play of the first quarter, too. This one's sort of end over end, gonna come up short, bounce straight up, the flag, flag comes in behind it. The clock runs out. And however, we'll have to wait and see what this flag is. Officials talk it over. A legal block in the back on Strom Thurman. That's gonna set him back Locked 10 more back yards. So they'll be starting again inside the 20 when we return for the start of the second quarter. You're watching the Aiken Standard Game of the Week. North Augusta leads seven to nothing here at Strom Thurman High School. You can't always be there to protect her down the road. Make sure the tire she's riding on will. With a revolutionary Michelin Premier tire, even when half-worn, it's still safe, thanks to Evergrip technology. The Michelin Premier Tire, safe when new, safe when worn. Strom Thurman has been close to the Tyler Tire end zone all evening. Unfortunately, it's been the other team's end zone as they've had their back in the shadow of the end zone for the entire first quarter and they now will and take over for their fans, fourth possession. Crescent up two to nothing on Fox Creek. Uh, Mikey's pick of the week. <laughs> <laughs> or the upset special. Of course, that's only in the fifth inning, so there's gonna be a lot could happen. Marnell <laughs> up 15 to nothing over Midland Valley. We saw that Silver Bluff was tied. Ooh, that's and a nice eight game. To six, Ridge Spring over Williston Elko. You know, and Wagner Sally up six to nothing early in that game against Blackville. You know, again, Strom Thurman had a chance. They could have started at the 35 or 30 yard line or so, and now they're going to be pushed back again inside their inside the 20. And it'll be a struggle to cross that 20. So they'll start at the 11 yard line after the illegal block in the back. So Harris leads his team back out on the field. Harris don't 
believe he's, I think, completed one pass. Had no luck rushing the football. I believe it. Hill's been bottled up too. The leading rusher in the area. Fake to him, a quick pass in the middle. Now there's a completion and a good play. That's gonna get it out past the 25 yard line to the 27 Chandler Law Firm, first and 10 for Strom Thurmond. And a quick slant, that gets him off the, off the, uh, off that charge in North Augusta's defense. Pickup of 16 yards. He found right in the middle of the three defenders. And now we got a flag. And that'll push him back. Offsides against oh. North Augusta. So oh, North Augusta right. will shorten the yardage for another first down is to be a walk up five yards. Remains first down, first and five. Ball now out past the 30 to the 32. Now they got a first and five. They've got some room. Maybe take throwing deep here. Or maybe There's they run. Gives it. <laughs> In, he's knocked down. That's number 28. That's Charquez Booker. First time we've seen him tonight. No game Freshman. Second down and five. Hills on the sideline. He's got his helmet on. Three split wide to the wide side, one to the right. Ooh, right in his face. Linebacker oh, there you go. Oh, Harris got some room to run. Cut yep. back inside. Crosses the 45 to the 37 yard line. Big pickup, and that's what we've heard about Harris, yeah. is he's a very good runner. And he, he squirted through there. There's uh, like trying to grab an eel. So Strom Thurman picks it up here in the second quarter. Two first downs in this drive. That doubles the number the first downs they got in the first quarter. Now we got a whistle on the field. Don't believe there's a flag. They talk it over and they're ready to go. They start the clock again. Chandler Law Firm, first and 10, 47 yard line. Now he's under Whoa. pressure and he's gonna have to run fast to get out of this. He does get around and he reaches he the edge, but he steps out of bounds. Yeah, he got a yard or two. Almost <laughs> almost got back to the line of scrimmage. He's gonna lose a he yard. Did. Yeah, I thought he was still in bounds at that time. Back to the 46. And they're gonna actually say he was down at the 45. So he lost two yards, third down, second down and 12. Actually, you're gonna put it at the 44 now. It just inches back. Handoff. Looks for Sam Blitzmore. Here comes Jack Chris. He's, he's, he's good to the O. Oh, he's dragged down. He had daylight in front of him, but a nice tackle. And the, and the freshman is charged up. That that was uh, that was a great little run. Look that was Javian. Tillman that caught him from behind and kept him from taking off. A couple of broken tackles. Oh, th that's going to give the freshman a, a great lift. Well, they moved the chains. They're now in North Augusta territory after not barely crossing the 20. And here it comes Harris. Harris. Harris he fumbled. He got the ball back. I mean, they're yeah. going to say he was down anyway at the 35-yard line. That'll be a pickup of Robert seven. The They'll bring up second down and three. Second down and four. Harris recovered it had it been called a fumble. The nice thing for Strom Thurmond so far on this drive is it keeps their defense off the field. They're doing those three and outs and giving a bad field position. So you got to credit uh, Strom's defense on the last drive that was, that held them. Got some room to work with. Two split wide to the wide side, one to the right. Flanker in tight. Running back in tight with Harris, and now we got a timeout. Strom Thurman. Strom Thurman wants to talk about it. They're on the move. We'll return in just a minute. I always ask myself, would I want me to represent me? Would I want a lawyer who is prepared, who is passionate, who is capable, 
And every day that we represent our clients, we're telling our clients that you can count on us to bring every skill, every ability, and all of our passion in representing your interests. That's what it means to count on Chandler. That, that means that you can count on us to fight for you. A mostly full stadium here at Strom Thurmond High School on both sides. North Augusta's crowd has filled in. The weekend after the hurricane that wasn't, at least in our area, we certainly send out our thoughts and prayers to those over on the east side of the state. That was a yeah. tough weekend and first of the week that everybody, and they continue to deal with as the floods keep coming up. And yeah, we're very fortunate to didn't make it this far, and we'll take it. I lost a bunch of leaves, and that's about it. Now I'll, I'll take that, run with it, and be happy. Lots of pine straw in my yard. Yeah. Tomorrow definitely. will be pine straw day. <laughs> Took the time last weekend to do some painting at the office. That was that was fun. <laughs> Glad that I have stuff to do this weekend. <laughs> I watched uh, I watched live stream of football. So college football number five on the carry stand the hill he's back in picks up a couple yards maybe a yard to the 33 it's gonna be third down and two well I can guarantee you they got two downs to get this if they get a fourth down they're gonna go for it <coughs> North Augusta Uh, there's the handoff, caught him from behind. He's gonna gain a yard. He'll be close to the first down. May have it, depends on where they spot it. Here on the near side, he was at the 31, but it looks like he's backed it up here to the 32. Yeah, it's fourth and inches they're going for it. And the crowd hooting a little bit on that spot. But the far side official was closer and he spotted it. So they need about a half a yard for the first down. It's fourth down. See if they go with a quarterback sneak. No, they're going to go to the shotgun. Harrison with Hill next to him in the backfield. Hands off the hill. Hill breaks through. Hill, that's, that's a Booker again. Booker gets the carry. The freshman carries it inside the 25 to the 24. And another channel left for him. First and 10 for Strom Thurman. North Augusta leads seven to nothing. But Strom Thurman threatening here in the second quarter. Hmm. Where do you think Booker will be in four years, huh? <laughs> yeah, we've seen a bunch of them, especially here. They've had some outstanding freshmen and sophomores over the years mm -hmm. play here. And they really were you know, the kind of standout player. And then maybe not quite so much. Ooh. Offensive tackle moved. Left a little early, a little anxious to get out there and block. That's going to lengthen it first and 15. Backs him up to the 29 yard line. First down and 15. And that's the kind of thing that will drive Coach Hillary crazy. Don't need to make it any harder against this North Augusta defense. Especially since you know, this is their one drive so far that they have been impressive on. You can't have a drive killer. Booker stays in. Didn't get the hand. They got a man oh, down. Right oh, he oh, couldn't hold on. Number 23, Devontae Ellis, was all by himself and could not bring it in. And that's sometimes the worst situation to be in, to realize you're that open. Yep. We'll look at the Aiken Ophthalmology. Did you see that replay? Here comes a, a, uh, North Augusta coming with a blitz. That was picked up nicely and, and just totally beat the school DB on that. Ellis was counting it as six. Uh, before it, you had the six. It's it's much easier to run your route and catch it with a defender on you. You don't lose your concentration when you're that open. You tend to stop and think about what you're getting ready to do. He's not the first one. No, so it, it happens more often than not. Especially on the high school level. Yeah. 
Hey, we'll watch uh, college football tomorrow, and it'll happen 15 times. Somewhere all the games across the nation. All right, it was a sideline warning to Strom Thurmond. It's going to be second down and 15. And here comes Booker, Ooh. and he's hit hard in the hole. And I That's believe Torres. that was Torres yep. again. And he's playing an awfully good game here Tackle in the first the half. One brings up third down for the Rebels. I and imagine the coaches will say somebody's got to account for him. But then you come back with Collier. Now they've got more than just them. They've got Gibson on the end and Hammond. And yeah, we've seen them all. Uh, they Bunch of good football players. Third down and long. Steps up in the pocket, runs into his Torres. own players, and Torres showing some great speed. He closes in a Torres hurry and puts tackle. him down. Fourth down and long at 31. I believe this will be out of field goal range, so Sean Thurman in this position of the field probably going to go for it on fourth down. It's a long go for it. Still try and punt it, maybe put North Augusta deep, and because the defense did a great job the last time. Uh, the ball's at the 31 yard line, and more than likely from there, he's going to punt it in the end zone, and you're going to just pick up 11 yards. True. Back to pass, going to step up in the pocket. Now they're going to be sacked back at 34. North Augusta rises to the occasion. Got started with a five-yard penalty for Storm Thurman, then a drop pass in the end zone for a sure touchdown, and it falls apart for Storm Thurman. But they showed some life on that drive, moving the ball deep into North Augusta territory after going 0 for 3 in their first three drives with only one first down and stayed deep the in the territory. So this is North Augusta's worst field out. position for their opening at the 34-yard line. The worst field position only by eight yards, though. So they're still not bad. I believe North Augusta is going to take a timeout. Timeout, North Augusta. So North Augusta, talk about it. We'll give you a second to hear from our sponsors, and we return. Aiken Ophthalmology provides high quality, comfortable, and dependable treatment in Aiken and North Augusta. With our newly expanded facility, we now have four experienced physicians that are up to date on the latest procedures, and our surgery center offers the finest eye care technology available to better serve you. Make your appointment today with Aiken Ophthalmology. 6.06 left to go until halftime. The one thing that Strom Thurmond did, that drive, though it didn't result in any points, it kept their defense off the field, and they took up half the quarter. Yeah. The defense got a nice breather on that. North Augusta leads seven to nothing. So they get their first possession of the second quarter. Tanner White, the quarterback, Drops back, Whoa. looks short. Oh, it's intercepted. Tanner White, the one man who can stop him. And he, he does. does. <laughs> he rams him. With a wrestling takeout. <laughs> and now, you got to be careful there. You got the interception, but you don't want to come up and be mad at the quarterback because <laughs> he helped you out there a little bit, big guy. That was great. You got to high five Tanner White for that. Yeah, I know it was an interception, but, you know, he. he, he. Robert Witt. At the Aiken uh, Ophthalmology, did you see that replay? They were trying to set up the screen. He caught the screen, saw it developing. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you wear pads. <coughs> so Strom Thurmond in business. Now their deepest penetration of the game. They'll start at the 12 yard line. And this is a position where Strom Thurman really needs to get on the board and tie this game up. Tied in on the short side. They run to that side. This is Whoa. Booker. Booker goes inside the 10 to the 9, and now they've fallen like dominoes. I'm not so sure that a North Augusta player didn't come roaring in from behind. 
Look like a bowling pins falling down. Yeah. So they're inside the 10. Now they're going to mark him at the 10. So he picked up two yards. Second down and eight. And this will be the toughest eight yards or the last 10 yards. Strom Thurman will probably see this year. Now he's going to keep oh. got one man. Great containment by yeah. North Augusta. Yeah. Loses yardage. See what the flag will be. If it's against Strom, I'd decline it. They're pointing at North Augusta. Personal foul against North Augusta. Wow. Don't think they'll decline that. That'll nope. be an automatic first down. It'll be <coughs> Chandler Lawford first and goal for Strom Thurman. And that, as soon as I say that, it may not be an automatic first down. It won't march it inside the five. It'll be half the distance to the goal. So put it at the seven. Uh, high school football's different than college. It'd be an automatic in college. Right. It goes to the seven. Ball's at the seven. Then second down. Nope, he switched over. It's first. That gives the Rebels a first down within the 10 yard line. I believe this is second down. <laughs> Uh, I think we got mass confusion. They're saying second down and five. Okay. We repeat the down. And that gives it off to Booker. Nobody blocked. Number 45 for North Augusta. Hammond. And that's Charles Hammond. And you got to get a hat on him. Barnwell's Look, up Barnwell. two, 215 to nothing. That's, a, that's a big score for Barnwell. We thought Midland Valley might be a little <laughs> undermanned in this game, but oh, no, oh, okay, it's, it's 21. 21 to nothing. Okay. Boy, if it was 215, they'd better be on a running clock right now. <laughs> they'd be out tailgating down there in more horse country. Boy. How do you not see that guy <laughs> to block him? It looked like it was just like supposed to be a chip block, but but you can't you can't do that against these guys. Now it's third down. Strom Thurman looking to the sidelines, trying to get some direction here, and they're going to blow the whistle. And North Augusta called the timeout. I didn't think Strom Thurman looked organized, but uh, timeout on the field. We'll take it with them. North Augusta leads seven to nothing, trying to hold Strom Thurman out of the end zone. I had back issues for a while. I kept going back with different complaints. My doctor, he said, surgery's not gonna do you any good. So he said, I would recommend to you therapy. After therapy, it's I'm a lot better. I'm so grateful for that, I'm a lot better. Thanks to Aiken Regional Hospital for the joy that was put back into my life. Now I'm able to get on the floor and play with the children. And it's just a relief. Uh, or Strom Thurmond roster on, on my phone for Max Preps. All right, North Augusta talking it over. Big play third down. The officials meeting out on the ball. And don't suppose that that's anything more than the officials talking. Again, it's a big night here at Strom Thurmond. They're having the announcement of their first six members of the Strom Thurman Athletics Hall of Fame. And they'll be doing that at halftime. And some, some good names, some familiar names, and some names which uh, some of you probably haven't heard in quite a while, maybe, maybe never heard of, especially several of them, uh, well, several of them from the 60s and the state championship team that Strom Thurmond had back in 1968. I see two state champions down there, 68 and what, 2000? Yeah, they won again in the, the 2000s. All right, Strom Thurmond has talked it over. Third down. Let's see what Harris comes up with. Balls at the eight yard line. Takes the snap, pumps, 
Now throws, throws it to the corner. He has a man out there tried to one-hand it. I tell you, have people not started catching balls with one hand? Like, like Odell down, Beckham down. gets it started. Now they're practicing it. And it oh. I saw one last week from Cole, uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars, that was incredible oh, <laughs> what yeah. he came up with. Never used his left hand. But let's uh, let's get one thing straight. That's the, those guys are pros for a reason. Oh yeah, they can do that. High school kids don't emulate them yet. Get it, get that going, and get your uh, scholarship going. Go to college, then if you want to start doing it after a pro in the pros, uh, it's not a good habit to do it. But if you don't have to, but if that's all you got, if it's all, it's all you, you got. got, and you come up with it, outstanding. All right, field goal time. Kicks up, kick is good. So Strom Thurmond's on the board. The kicker is Hunter, Hunter Bledsoe. Bledsoe puts it through. So Strom Thurmond able to put some points on the board after the North Augusta turnover, and they trail seven to three. And that's what I think was important there is yeah. just get some points on the board, feel good about yourselves. And uh, now 420 left to go until halftime. Keep North Augusta off the board. Even if you go in at half, it's seven to three. You got to feel pretty good after that first quarter. Well, if you get a gift like that, like you did with the interception, get stopped at the 10 or 11, 12 yard line, you got to get something. You know, it's got to have some points. Um, and this is, you know, it's a good defensive game. You know, Stroms has taken that one drive, took a lot of time off the clock, kept their defense off the field. North Augusta's defense has been outstanding. Good look at the Strom Thurman student body. They're glad to have some points on the board and something they can cheer about. All right, so Bledsoe. Will kick away the first kickoff of the evening for Strom Thurman. They will be kicking to start the second half. A little pooch. Caught at the 25. He's got, got some money to run. Somebody better get there He's quick. Got the He's gone. He's gone. 20 10 5 touchdown, North Augusta. They answer the field goal with a kickoff return from number 15. That's Isaac Johnson. He takes it 75 yards to the house. And Strom Thurman, who had a little bit of momentum. Just saw all of that go up in smoke. You know, he gave it about a half a step to the inside, and uh, the uh, kick team did not crash to the side and left that whole sideline open. He said, okay, I'll just run down this way. I'm sure that is not the way Strom Thurman drew that up. He nope. kicked it to the left side. Nobody played containment to the left, which you see there a lot of times. And now uh, they're going to blow the whistle before the extra point. What you see a lot of times is they come back across the field and break containment. Of course, we did see a game, that North Augusta game, uh, with Grovetown. Grovetown returned a kick for a touchdown, but that was a little muffed kick where he dropped mm -hmm. it and delayed picking it up and made a nice little move on the containment man and got to the sidelines and went straight up the field for 90 yards. That was Grovetown's highlight of the game. In that case, it was perfectly fielded. Again, there wasn't much in that because of North Augusta's defense. I'd, I'd say their defense is playing better today because we know Strom's a better team. And All right, it was offsides against Strom Thurman. And I believe they declined the penalty. And they see no need to get closer as the kick will be at the 10 for Nichols. Spot kick down, and it is good. So North Augusta leads 14 to 3. They answer Strom Thurman's field goal. And there'll be four minutes and nine seconds left to go here in the second quarter. We'll take a break. Well, we'll look at the Aiken Ophthalmology replay of the kick return. He went kind of went inside. So wait a minute. Let me go this way. Just not a very good tackle there, and that's the kicker. Trying to catch him. Yeah. And when you've got yourself in a position where the kicker's trying to be the contained man, that's <laughs> not a good sign. Nope. Wagner. Wagner up on Blackville Hill to 22 to nothing. 
And that's our score here. North Augusta, 14, Strom Thurmond, 3. So Nichols will get another chance to kick. And this is a, a now it's 14 to three. And uh, you know, Strom Thurmond worked their butts off to get the seven to three. And now it's just, oh, it's even worse. <coughs> that's why that special teams are important. Gets it away. Be fielded at the 10 yard line. Now trying to get outside, yep. brought down Still running is uh, number 84, which is Jalen Hammonds, but he was marked down. It was a good tackle that time by Isaac Johnson, I believe, uh, who returned the, uh, the kick. I think it was. Um, and now Strom's back in their uh, somewhat familiar world of life. They're back at the uh, inside the 20 yard line. Now they started there at the beginning of the second quarter and moved down the field, got into North Augusta territory inside the 30 before having to turn it over on downs, on fourth down. Let's see what they can do with the four minutes left to go. They are at the 19-yard line. Here comes a jet sweep, try to get him outside. He'll step inside and get a couple of yards. No gain on the carry. Number 23 is Devontae Ellis. Got no gain, second down and 10. I think that Strom Thurmond, they got the last drive going on a slant yeah. pass that went for 12 yards and got them going. I think they're going to have to pass with these linebackers. And here's well, a good run. Well, and it runs good. straight into one of the linebackers. Darian Gibson is waiting for him. It was going for a minute, for a second, and it closed quick. Third down. Did pick up five yards, so it'll be third down and five. Got a hole there, but Gibson with form tackle in the hole. Uh, just straight run by the quarterback, yep. Harris, and Harris is going to be short of the first down. Well, he may be right at it. Let's see where they spot Spike it. The Something and happened after the sh play. He's shaking his head at one of the offensive linemen. That's never a good sign. Unsportsmanlike conduct yep. against Strom Thurmond, so that'll kill whatever chance they had of getting the first down. Uh, Charles Hammond and one of the offensive linemen were going at it with each other. Hey, Midland Valley scored on Barnwell. So Barnwell leads 29 to seven. I'm sure that's getting close to halftime if it's not half already. Crescent over Fox Creek. 16 to eight. One score game, two point conversion. I was pretty impressed with Fox Creek in the game that we had with McCormick. But Crescent, playing at home, playing a good game. And again, that's another one was one in my picks. I, I took Crescent because it was at home. And you needed to make some ground on the rest of the game. I do, but this is not, uh, this is not one of them. <laughs> Well, it would be, you're the you only one who picked him. I took, well, no, I took Strom for this game. So yeah, but so did everybody else. Well, no, not everybody Kyle, else. Kyle took North Augusta. Yeah, do what Kyle does. That's why he's in first place. Yeah, well. And we're talking about the Aiken Standard Pick'ems. As you watch the Aiken Standard game of the week, don't forget to pick up <coughs> an Aiken Standard tomorrow and get a rundown of all the scores in the area. As the staff is out there Covering all the games. Who got to travel to Barnwell today? I don't think we tra I'm not sure. Don't ask me. Um, it was, uh, they were spread out. I was, I was in news. I'm in news. <laughs> I used to be in sports 485 years ago, but now it's. Uh, Rutgers had gained a first down. It was a dead ball foul. 
So they, no. uh, that was interesting. They, they did pick up the first down now the on the play, but they it was a dead ball foul, so they walked off. Well, if it wasn't 15, it was half the distance. It was half the distance to the goal, and now they're going to explain it to the coach, North Augusta. Now, and that I, I think that's the right call to walk it off. Actually, they've got it as first and 10. Well, yeah, because he picked up the first down, then they walked it off, so he started off. I, I don't know. I, maybe he's trying to argue that it was I think to be it, first and about 25 First or so. and 25, I, yeah, exactly. That's what he's trying to do. Or that's his opinion. And the referee said, that's your opinion, but mine counts. <laughs> so it does push Strom Thurman back inside the 15 to the 14. It'll be a Chandler Law Firm, first and 10. 244 left to go until halftime. Of course, against this defense, it's a struggle to get 10 yards, run, much less anything else. So. Yeah, but 25 would be impossible. Oh, yeah, the way they're playing. Hmm. Well, going long again. Hadn't had any success yet with that. He had Ellis wide open by himself in the end zone, and Ellis couldn't hold on. This time, well covered. Ellis had no chance. The ball was out of bounds. Second down and 10. I suppose the long pass will keep the North Augusta defense honest. Though it's still, they're going to have to complete them to get those linebackers to loosen up a little bit. But uh, it's unusual for Jaquan Harris to even have that much time to throw that long pass, too, by the way. He's been running for his life out there. There's a pa uh, handoff. Booker again, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that was oh, Hill. Mm -hmm. Picked up yardage. He picked up six. Third down and four. Good run. And they're at the 20 where they have problems crossing. Work squirts through the hole. They're finding some room to run now. He's going to be a little short. Of the first down, it'll be third down and one. Strom Thurman, fourth. the fourth down, fourth excuse down. me. And they will bring the punting unit out. Clock runs 133. You would think North Augusta at this point might consider taking a timeout. They're going to let the clock run. Yeah, and, of course, we never know just how many timeouts. But we do on this board, and North Augusta has one timeout remaining. That's nice that we have a scoreboard that keeps up with that. <laughs> Little low line drive. It's going to keep it away from Moore and go out of bounds at the 43. And that's where North Augusta will take over. Channel law firm first and 10, 107 left to go here in the second quarter. Uh, based on what we've seen of North Augusta's offense, I don't know that that's going to be uh, conducive. The old North Augusta used to be able to spread the field and they'd be down there in 30 seconds. And maybe, you know, they get the kick in the second half. The last time they had the ball, they threw the interception. So, eh, you know what, they're up 14 to three. Be happy with it. Oh, they're, they're in good shape, but I think they'd love to get down and at least have a shot at field goal. Nichols, sure. again, very good kicker. That's gonna be a little short out in the flat. He's got a got little some space. Room to run. Bunsen crosses the 50-yard line into Rebel territory to the 49-yard line. Bunsen makes it second down and two. Gonna roll to his right. He may run with this. He does. He picks up the first down, gets out at the 45 oh, yard line. And 52.5 seconds left to go until the half. And North Augusta into Rebel territory. They've got a first down. Let's see what the flag is. I assume that's going to be a late hit that's going to give them a better look at that field goal. May, maybe now a touchdown.
If it goes 15 yards against Strom Thurmond, as Barnum will just move it on. It's a personal foul. Oh, it's against North Augusta. For, what was that called? Personal foul against the Yellow Jackets. Some sort of illegal block, I guess. I, they, they have some signals that I'm not terribly familiar with. Their delay of the game signal is different than what I grew up seeing. But that kills the North Augusta drive as they're backed up now to the original line of scrimmage to the 40 yard line. Actually, they're three yards further than that. So it'll be second down and 13. Ridge Spring up on Williston, 16 to six. White ran over and got his directions. I'm sure here they want him to be careful, don't make a mistake, and they go with Buxton. Buxton got some room to run. He's gonna get down the field, and he is about where. He's got the first down. Uh, White was when he went out of bounds. So they pick up 14 and it is 13. Channel up from first and 10 at the 44. Got out of bounds, that stops the clock. Pressure up the middle, Ooh. pass is incomplete. Take Takes the clock down to 33 eight. seconds. Second, down and ten. Second and 10. I think White felt the pressure coming up the middle and went ahead and just unloaded it. At least they're shooting for that end zone. Again, a little cross in. action there. And that is working. Buxton's getting some yardage. He gets out of bounds, stops the clock. First down for the Yellow Jackets. Falls at the 32 yard line. That'll move the chains again. Chandler Law Firm, first and 10. Silver Get, Bluff is beating Swansea. Getting closer to the field goal range for Nichols. Clock is running. I thought he went out of bounds. I'm not. I thought he ran out of bounds too. Can't believe the sideline's not going crazy. They're not. Now he's under pressure, he's sacked. And he did he lose the ball? Uh, he got it back though, but. He jumps up and starts running. The clock's gonna run out. Now they got an injured player, but the clock, the horn sounds. North Augusta chose not to use a timeout in that situation, which is interesting. They'll get the ball to start the second half and they will lead. 14 to three here at the half. A good first half for North Augusta. Strom Thurmond started out very, very slow. Did get the field goal on the interception, but uh, could be worse. I suppose yeah. that's the way you look at it at the half. The field position did hurt Strom Thurmond. It helped North Augusta, got the, the uh, uh, touchdown. Uh, the defense been strong, even off the, off the turnover. They were only lucky to get a field goal or hold them to a field goal. Uh, and then the kickoff return. You know, busted play for Strom Thurmond, but a, a excellent decision by uh, uh, by who was it again? It was uh, John um, Isaac Johnson. Isaac Johnson. Yeah. So North Augusta again, opportunistic. They had one sustained drive for the touchdown, and they returned the kickoff, and they lead 14 to three here at the half. We'll take a break. We'll come back and we'll celebrate with Strom Thurmond, their new athletic Hall of Fame here, and we'll let you know who. The new inductees are when we return on the Aiken Standard Game of the Week. It all started at one family night in Dumfries, Virginia. Family night is for everybody. It's a time for families to do crafts together. The kids just love going to Chick-fil-A for dinner. Being the single mom and getting everybody ready, it was tough. We would get there a little bit late, like on the tail end of it. Helen saw that I was having trouble getting them to Chick-fil-A for the family night on time and actually got it extended another hour. Noticing things like that, I never really told her how much she affected me, but she did. Love you. <laughs> Move. 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 Young, healthy patients 
without glasses maybe once every five years. So, but if you have glasses, kind of want yearly visits to make sure you're in the, in the right spectacles. You know, folks over, over the age of 50 or 55, we generally start wanting yearly visits at that point. Because um, over the age of 50, you have a higher incidence of things like glaucoma, macular degeneration, those kinds of things. Make an appointment today with one of our four doctors at Aiken Ophthalmology. I knew he was in trouble. I didn't really know that it was a heart attack, but I knew he was in trouble. His right coronary artery was 99% blocked and already collapsed. So within 10 minutes, they had put a stent in. I'm so glad that we made that decision to go to Aiken Regional right away. We definitely made the right decision in going to Aiken Regional. I don't think we could have gotten better care. Back, it's halftime here at Strom Thurmond High School. Strom Thurmond trails North Augusta. 14 to three, but if it's any uh, indication, uh, games of the past, Strom Thurmond will get back in this and make a game of it, and wouldn't surprise me at all if we have a close game. Right. Uh, you know, the offense has shown some glimmers in the second quarter. First quarter, they're all bottled up. All right, you see the folks standing on the field and uh, North Augusta, uh, Strom Thurmond rather, is having their inaugural class of their Strom Thurmond Athletics Hall of Fame. And they've got some uh, outstanding people. The first uh, person they're recognizing right now is Harriet Boots Bandy. She was a girls basketball coach from 1961 into 1976. Uh, she was here and uh, I believe they won state championships in 1966 and 1968 while she was here. And uh, very well thought of. She was also in the South Carolina Coaches Athletic Hall of Fame. She was inducted into that in 1998 and also was in the Winthrop University Athletic Hall of Fame. So Coach Bandy uh, recognized tonight she passed away in 2011, but her family is here accepting the award. The, the, play, the man that they're recognizing now is Hubert Morris. Now, Hubert Morris is a name a lot of you will remember and may not associate him necessarily with Strom Thurmond. He was at Strom Thurmond as their head coach from 1966 to 1972. He left Strom Thurmond and went to North Augusta and actually was the head coach at North Augusta when I was in high school at Aiken High School. I remember Coach Morris well. Uh, he won a state championship in 1968 here at Strom Thurmond. So, of course, he's legendary for that fact of you win a state championship, back, especially back in those days. It, it meant so much to the communities when you won that state championship, and especially in football. And uh, he had five undefeated seasons in the years that he was here. So Hubert Morris, interesting, well-known coach and recognized here tonight. Now, the player that they're recognizing now is Jack, Jackie Jackson. Say that three times real fast. <laughs> Jack, Jackie Jackson. And uh, Jackie played from 1960 to 1963. He also went to Clemson once he finished here at Strom Thurmond and uh, ended up going into the NFL. He was drafted by the Cleveland Browns in 1968. A very, very successful uh, pharmaceutical uh, company, Upjohn Pharmaceuticals, or he's the president of that. So that's Jackie there on the field accepting that award. Uh, ben Anderson is who they're recognizing now. Ben Anderson played from 65 to 69. He played for Hubert Morris, and he uh, played on that 1968 championship team. And uh, on Strom Thurmond, he also went to Clemson. And he won all kinds of awards while he was there at Clemson. I think he walked on, as a matter of fact. He was a walk-on player at Clemson. And he is given credit. And you want to guess what he's given credit for doing at Clemson? He's in the Clemson Hall of Fame. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of interesting. But here's why he was 
he is giving credit to be the originator of the Tigers running down the hill really? at Death Valley Stadium. I was going to say touching the rock or something like that. You know? Yeah, so that, I'm sure that went hand in hand of you got to touch the rock and they ran down the field. So, and that is an iconic entrance yes, it is. into a football game. Ben Anderson passed away, unfortunately, in 2015. His family are here accepting the award on his behalf. Now we get to a couple of players that uh, a lot of people will remember. Ira Hillary, who was a football player here at Strong Thurman back in 1978 through 1981. Uh, Ira, as far as, uh, he was a great track player. He's extremely fast. I remember Ira very well. He was at the University of South Carolina. Was an outstanding football player, wide receiver for Carolina. And the, the game I remember is he catch it, he caught a long pass in 1984 against Georgia for a touchdown that put us up. And Georgia was ranked in the top 10. Of course. And uh, South Carolina went on in 1984 to go 9-0. And uh, well, that's the game where they lost the Navy in 1984, beat Clemson, then went on to the Gator Bowl. And uh, that still is the best record in terms of winning percentage. Well, the uh, Steve Spurrier years, we had 11 and two. Carolina was 10 and two in 1984, and he was one of the stars of that team. He went on and played in the NFL as well, and played. Uh, he was drafted by the Kansas City Chiefs and played most of his time with Cincinnati Bengals and played in the Super Bowl while he was there. They didn't win, but he was there. That was the 81 against the Giants, or Niners rather. He lives in Cincinnati now. I did not know that. But good to see him here tonight. And then also Walter Scott. Now, this is not a player that I necessarily remembered. He was here from 1988 to 1991. He, uh, he went to East Carolina, played in the 1990 North-South game. He also he went to East Carolina, played there and then signed as a free agent with Green Bay and played on the Green Bay Packers team that won the Super Bowl in 1997. So Walter Scott, a distinguished career. He's an offensive lineman, and maybe that's why I'm not so familiar with his name. I, I'm a Packers shareholder and Packers fan, and I don't remember him on that team. <laughs> uh, that's a, it doesn't matter if you no. played on a Super Bowl team. He's got, a he ring. got the ring. Yep. So again, Harriet Boots Bandy. Hubert Morris, Jackie Jackson, Ben Anderson, Ira Hillary, and Walter Scott, the first class of the Strom Thurmond Athletic Hall of Fame. And that was fun to be here tonight for that. All right, unfortunately, I guess we're not gonna get to hear the marching band unless they're gonna be running out of here. And they are running out of here, so maybe we will hear them. Why don't we take a break and we'll come back and we'll take a listen to one of the Best marching bands in the area, the Storm Thurman High School Marching Band. You can't always be there to protect her down the road. Make sure the tire she's riding on will. With a revolutionary Michelin Premier tire, even when half-worn, it's still safe, thanks to Evergrip technology. The Michelin Premier tire Safe when new, safe when worn. I always ask myself, would I want me to represent me? Would I want a lawyer who is prepared, who is passionate, who is capable? And every day that we represent our clients, we're telling our clients that you can count on us to bring every skill, every ability, and all of our passion in representing your interests. That's what it means to count on Chandler. That, that means that you can count on us to fight for you. Aiken Ophthalmology provides high quality, comfortable, and dependable treatment in Aiken and North Augusta. With our newly expanded facility, we now have four experienced physicians that are up to date on the latest procedures. And our surgery center offers the finest eye care technology available to better serve you. Make your appointment today with Aiken Ophthalmology. I had back issues for a while. I kept going back with different complaints. 
my doctor, he said, surgery's not going to do you any good. So he said, I would recommend to you therapy. After therapy, it sounds a lot better. I'm so grateful for that. I'm a lot better. Thanks to Aiken Regional Hospital for the joy that was put back into my life. Now I'm able to get on the floor and play with the children. And it's just a relief. Strom Thurmond High School as they'll be performing here at halftime. Our score, North Augusta, 14, Strom Thurmond, 3. So the band needs to play an inspiring performance so the Strom Thurmond can come out of the locker room and be ready to go. Let's go down to the field and enjoy their halftime show.
The Strom Thurmond High School Rebel Regiment is rapidly off a Yeti Tundra 45 cooler filled with a 20-pack of Coca-Cola. The draw will be held during halftime at the Strom Thurmond versus Pillion game on October 9th. Strom Thurmond High School entertaining us here at halftime. Their award-winning band as they won a state championship. And uh, Mike, somebody saw the sign coming in? Was that? Yes, yeah, the, the I band? saw the sign. Uh, it said uh, 2017, I want to say, to Class 2A state champion. So last yeah. year. Mm -hmm. So there you go. You were, you can say you saw them here. Yep. All right, let's take and, a look uh, at some of the scores from around the area, if they've got that slide ready to put up or they'll be working on it because we, and um, we'll uh, see that in just a second. In the meantime, the band was out on the field and they're walking right through North Augusta's <laughs> line right there. Well, they, they <laughs> was on the way back to our locker room. Yep. The yep. locker room's right there, folks. We yeah. got to get there. And uh, yeah, it's that that too is high school football, where <laughs> where we're doing the 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 pregame and they're walking in front of us. The cheerleaders are walking in front of us. The players are walking in front of us. The officials were walking in front. The officials like, were walking. Like, what do y'all think we're doing out here? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, it's okay. Doesn't have to be perfect, does it? No, it's not CBS. They can't have 500 people around those announcers blocking everybody from not doing that. We don't have a armada of people to, to stop that. Our score here, they have North Augusta up 14 to three over Strom Thurmond. They took the second possession of the first half in the first quarter, North Augusta did, and went down the field. It was, a, I think it was a short field on that particular drive. I think they had actually started in Rebel territory. They did at the 45, that and, the, their and, touchdown drive. Yep. And, and went down and were able to score, got on the board first, seven to nothing, Strom Thurmond Took a while to answer that, but was able to add a field goal in the second quarter that unfortunately for them ended with a field goal after a pass was dropped in the end zone, wide open by himself. He had too much time to think about it. And uh, they had to settle for the field goal and then on the ensuing kickoff, North Augusta returned at 75 yards for the touchdown. So. Pretty much a defensive struggle if you look at it. Both teams played pretty well defensively. Right. And North Augusta with the, the 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 not a commanding lead, but a 14 to three lead, two score lead here at halftime. One of the things you know we we talked about Chris Torres being all over the field and, and Collier. And so I'm pretty been impressed tonight with Charles Hammond. He's been all over. He was in the backfield uh, when when after that turnover. 
Uh, he was in the backfield of uh, Strom Thurmond and, and stopped uh, Jaquan Harris on a run. And I just, he's played a nice game. All right, there's our scoreboard of games. Only five games going on in the area besides this one. <coughs> Barnwell having their way with Midland Valley 37 to seven. No surprise there. Yeah. Right, no. Uh, Silver Bluff going strong. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at the scoreboard now and I'm, I'm you know basing this on my Aiken standard picks. And I'm five and oh right there. Right there, it's so far. It's a little early, a little early. early. Need to start spiking the football yet. Nope, and, uh, but I'm, I'm losing one game and that's the one we're doing right now. Well, Silver Bluff, 26-14 <laughs> over Swansea. I told you Swansea would be a, a tough out right. at home and they're playing Silver Bluff tough, still the second half to go. Crescent, Mike's upset special of the week over Fox Creek. They are playing at Crescent and they lead 16 to eight. Ridge Spring, as both of us surmised, they're playing at home. They lead Williston Elko 16 to six. And Wagner Sally, though they're playing at Blackville Hilda, they lead 22 to nothing. Again, we were pretty much in agreement on that. So yeah. uh, not a lot of surprises. The biggest surprise to me, Fox Creek, after watching them play a couple weeks ago, um, of course, we'd have no way of knowing how good or bad Crescent is. They're two and two on the season. They're not right. in our area, but obviously giving Fox Creek a tough time tonight and lead at halftime 16 to eight. Again, there's our score here. We're at Strom Thurmond High School at Strom Thurmond High School Stadium. And North Augusta leads 14 to three as a sandstorm gets started again. North Augusta won the toss. They elected to defer to the second half, so they will be receiving this kickoff. Strom Thurman will be defending the south goal as the North Augusta receiving team comes out on the field. Bedsoe is the kicker for Strom Thurman, so he'll be kicking. And I'm sure Moore is deep to receive for North Augusta. Again, the pooch kick. They're going to try this again. Well, and now he fumbles that. Johnson fumbles Whoa. it, and this is a scramble. And I believe North Augusta got it back. The yep. very fortunate number 14 is J Junius Walker, and he was able to fall on it. Strom Thurman had their chance at that, but the ball recovered at 37-yard line by Walker, and it'll be a Chandler Law Firm first and 10 for the Yellow Jackets. Johnson returned to pooch kick like that from the same area of the field for a touchdown. This time he fumbled it but very fortunate that his team, the Yellow Jackets, recovered it. All right, Tanner White back in to start the second half. Hands it off. Buxton in the backfield. Tackled nowhere. for a loss. <coughs> Dropped for a yard. Loss. It's going to bring up second down and 11. It shows again uh, that the uh, Strom Thurmond defense that they haven't been playing bad all game. This is a kickoff return game away from being a really, really close game and a good defensive game. Man comes in motion across the field. White back to pass, now gonna run to his right. Given some direction, he's gonna run himself. He's run out of bounds at the 40 yard line. They're gonna keep running the clock. That's a call I really don't understand quite yet. No. He ran out of bounds, so. And he was going forward, but they tell to keep winding, which is fine with us. So third down and seven, ball spotted at the 40. They need to make the 47 for a first down. Big third down, Strom Thurman trying to get cranked up here to open. Throws the pass downfield, nice catch. Yep. That was Walker on the catch. He recovered the fumble. That'll move the chains. Chandler Law Firm, first and 10 ball goes into Rebel Territory at the 43 yard line. Three split wide to the wide side of the field, one to the left. Buxton in the backfield. Slightly behind White. White rolls, keeps, goes across the 40. Going to pick up good yardage. Five. 
over so. to the 39 yard line. Good pick up of four yards, second down and six. That pass play earlier, that's probably one of the longest offensive plays we've had the whole game. Well, the touchdown was, yeah, that was 18 yards, but like I said, one of the longest. There hasn't been, there hasn't been a lot. This is a quick pass. That may have been behind the line, of, behind the receiver, but made a catch, gets it down the field. Gets a first down out of it. He's right at the first down. Where did they spot it? For a first down for the They're going to say he made it, and they'll move the chains again. Chandler Law Firm, first and 10. So North Augusta, after getting on third down and long, converts, and now they're moving the ball down the field. You have to wonder when, with the way, if, if North Augusta scores here and, and the way their defense is playing, it almost could be over. 32 yard line. Two split to the wide side, one here on the right. Buxton in the backfield with White. They hand off to Buxton. Buxton no. gets a man on his back, rides him down the field. That was Alex Peralta. He gets him down, give him a half a yard. Second down. Nine and a half. North Augusta takes their time. There's the clock running under nine minutes now here in the opening of the second half. Three split wide to the wide side. It looks that way. Nice. Throws it on the slant. Nice catch inside the 25 to the 24. He'll be short of the first down. It's going to bring up third down and short. About one yard. It's third down. That was uh, Lonnie Lee finding a nice little spot open. Again, same formation to the right side this time. Three split to the wide side. Handoff keeps. Going to get outside, get to the edge, go inside the 15 down to the 11 yard line. There is a flag trailing the play. We'll wait and see what the call is. That was a third and one. If this is holding, and it is, that's a big call. Yep. Storm Thurman may be bailed out by the holding call on North Augusta. It'll be a 10 yard walk off and it'll make it third and long. He'll walk this back to the 28 yard line where it'll be third down, be third and six. The thing about it is did the holding happened upfield. So that's the reason why it's not at a you know, 10 from the line of scrimmage. So that does help North Augusta a little bit. Three split this time, left side. Oh, oh, hit the wow. field, but White gets away. He reads it right, and he's going to pick up yep. the first down. That was a heck of a hit behind the line of scrimmage right next to White. He pulled the ball, kept it. That was the right decision. 20-yard <laughs> line, Channel Law Firm, first and 10 for North Augusta as the chains move again. As we saw that on the Aiken Ophthalmology, did you see that replay? Up. Uh, North Augusta receiver trying to get out and get the edge for the block. A little early. Just a bit. That's called illegal procedure. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be a five yard walk off against North Augusta. So repeat first down, first and 15. First down and 15. North Augusta running the clock down to 740. We saw Strom Thurman do that in the second quarter, take up half the clock of the second quarter. This was either Bucks and a Moore. No, it's Mark Malik Williams. Oh, well, Williams Number now. Number seven. End running back. We've seen Moore in the first half. Second down and 12. First time we've seen Williams 
at the running back position. Made a nice catch a little while ago from wide receiver flanker position. North Augusta is eating up the clock nicely. And if they get any points here, then Strom's going to have to just start throwing it downfield. They go too wide to the short side. Bring a man in motion over to the wide side now. Throws it a little Ooh. out. Caught. Did you catch that? Yeah, tight end. I didn't even think he got that through there. That's a good yeah, pass. That's the tight end, Ben Delauder. <clears throat> Not enough for a first yet, but. He gets it inside the 15 to the 14 yard line. Third down and four coming up. Should be a time when White keeps it himself. They split three to the wide side to the left. Tight end on the right side. Williams in the backfield next to White. Takes the snap. Looks left. Now throws. He's got him. A great catch, a touchdown, a touchdown for North Augusta. On the reception, number 17 is Zion Dobbs. He makes the catch, and as Mike said, a touchdown here. It's going to be awfully tough for Strom Thurmond to get back in this game against the North Augusta defense. Extra point to follow. And right at the six minute mark, North Augusta takes up half the quarter on that drive. Kick is up. No good. It's no good. He missed the kick, but North Augusta extends their lead now to 20 to three with a 67 yard drive. And they're on top of Strom Thurmond here with six minutes and five seconds left to go in the third quarter. We'll take a break, we'll be right back. Young, healthy patients without glasses, maybe once every five years. So, but if you have glasses, kind of want yearly visits to make sure you're in the, in the right spectacles. You know, folks over, over the age of 50 or 55, we generally start wanting yearly visits at that point. Because um, over the age of 50, you have a higher incidence of things like glaucoma, macular degeneration, those kinds of things. Make an appointment today with one of our four doctors at Aiken Ophthalmology. Strom Thurman finds, correct that, North Augusta finds the Tyler Tire end zone for the third time tonight. They lead 20 to three over the home team, Strom Thurman. And they took up half the quarter just to go that length of the field. Jumps high over on the 10 yard line. Runs into the wall right at the 25. Return out to the and that's Josh Pixley again on the return. Here's the Aiken ophthalmology. Did you see that replay? A little behind him, reaches back, makes the catch. Pixley. Does a good job, or that was actually uh, Dobbs. Yeah. So Harris leads his team back out, gets the ball for the first time in the second half and finds himself a little bit further behind in the game. They're gonna have to get down the field and get some points on the board. There's a handoff, this is Hill. He's been bottled up tonight. He, yep. Came in as the leading rusher in the area. And very short gain has been pretty much the story of his night. I think his biggest run tonight is a couple of yards. Yeah. Yeah, actually, their freshman Booker was actually doing better. They're going to have to throw the ball, period. Hands it off. Make the keep, and he's pushed out of bounds at the 29 yard line. He picked up a yard, I believe. That's gonna bring up third down. They're gonna mark him down at the 30. They'll give him the 30, give him two more yards, three yards, third down and five. And a big play for Strom Thurmond. They do not want to go three and out and give North Augusta the ball back. The defense probably needs a little bit more of a breather than that. Yeah. 
Hands it off. Hands it off. And Torres is right there. Torres and smothers him at the 30-yard line. No gain. It's going to bring up fourth down. And, and get a punt. Strom Thurman will punt. And North Augusta will be back in business on offense. I'm absolutely amazed they have not thrown. They have to throw the ball. And it can't be little outs or anything like that. It's got to be something downfield. Now he's shown the ability to throw the ball a couple oh, yeah. times tonight. Yeah, he yeah. has. So Bledsoe on to punt. Gets it away. Moore back to return. He's got oh. a chance on this one. If he gets to the edge, he is at the edge. He's across the 50, across the 40. He pushed out of bounds around the 35. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds about the 38. Flag on the field. And there is a flag trailing the play. We'll see what that call is, but a good run by a good return by Moore. And it is a holding, holding against, against North Knights. Augusta. So that'll bring the ball back to near midfield. Again, North Augusta with great field position now still. And I'm sure they're not gonna be, if they gain a few yards, they're not gonna be in any hurry to snap it. The walk-off takes it to the 48-yard line of Strom Thurmond, so the ball remains in Strom Thurmond territory. 3.45 left to go in the third quarter. Since they just took six minutes off the clock in their first drive, and this may be North Augusta running out the rest of the third quarter. The option play gives him a little bit of a shoulder doesn't make the pitch, keeps inside and picks up three yards. Second down and seven. Second down. Oh, backup quarterback has to come in for a play. White lost his helmet. Actually, it looks like Buxton is just gonna do a wildcat here or something. That is what he's oh, lined no, no. up in the quarterback. No, it's different, uh, number two. No, it's two, and he, he does not, and he keeps. He was Bradley. looking at the fact that uh, this might be my chance. Godwin yeah. Godwin played a lot at Ball's quarterback in the first couple of games. White was hurt it's against Grovetown. He was playing wide receiver, which he'll go back to wide receiver here. He got whacked pretty good in the Grovetown game, and I don't believe he played the rest of the game. How many teams? How many teams have their backup quarterback as a wide starting wide receiver? <laughs> it's not unusual. They're usually good athletes. All right, well, Storm Thurman's defense rises to the occasion. They get a little help with White having to go to the sidelines, but it'll bring up fourth down and long, and the punting unit will come on for Storm Thur uh, for North Augusta. So Storm Thurman looking to get the ball back. Nichols the punter for the Yellow Jackets. Short kick, everybody gets out of the way, rolls back towards the North Augusta players. And everybody spotted at the 26 yard line. So again, Strom Thurman finds themselves deep in their own territory and trailing 20 to three. But at least they are across the 20. <laughs> this is actually one of their better starting points. So Strom Thurman needing to get something started. Clock will start getting short. Only 2.26 left to go and until was, the fourth quarter. The freshman Booker, but he doesn't get away from Torres. He had a little bit. Torres, Torres had to hold on for dear life and throw him <laughs> down. He did get six yards. It brings up second down and four. Whoop. 
some movement up front. It looked like North Augusta. I think they jumped. Jumped. If it's against yep. them, that'll be a first down. Yep, offsides against North Augusta. Offside. So five yards Yellow walks back. off. That'll move the chains. Chandler Law Firm, first and 10 first for down. the Rebels at the 37 yard line. <laughs> and uh, the offender does some push ups as a uh, punishment for himself. <laughs> Stays in the game, though. Hands off. Same Got play. the edge. Booker looking to get around the corner. Couldn't quite make the corner. Was pushed out of bounds by number 13, J.B. and Tillman. But a good game. Second down and one. He picked up eight yards. Give him nine. Second down and one. He's running the ball to the outside. You know, in the first half, they were running the ball up the middle a lot, and that was going nowhere. Just maybe, um, maybe now, but now, I still think they need to throw. Now, interesting, he runs out of bounds. They stopped the clock. Whereas, Whereas they earlier, they kept the clock running. The mystique yep. of being a clock operator. Well, the officials <laughs> on the sidelines. So yeah. that picks up another four yards. That moves the change. Chandler Law Firm, first and 10. The ball spotted right on the 50-yard line. And Strom Thurman is moving the football. Now back to pass. Throws over the middle. Had a man overshoots his receiver. Incomplete pass intended. Number two Dante was Dante Holloway. Dante was open. He saw him, but he threw it a little wide. Dante couldn't get to that one. Second down and 10. And that might be a good indication as to why they don't throw an awful lot. Yeah. Harris, a junior. Shows the ability to scramble. <coughs> now he's going to keep, and there was a flag. And where that came from, that's normally a hold. So let's see if North Augusta takes it as it's no gain. Got a choice of third down and 10 or second down and 20. Oh, holding Harris against Brown. Strom Thurmond. Said it was 54. Hey, you know what? The way their defense playing, I declined the penalty. Uh, they'll take the 10 yards and back them up. I'm not so sure that's not the best thing to do is move them down the field, back up. and Of course, it only backed him up eight yards for some reason, even though he gained nothing out of it. Again, the well, they say he was down the field. They spotted it at two, two yards down the field, if which that's is odd. Hold, but anyway, that's second the hold down occurred. and 18 <laughs> yards. Ooh, Torres back in the backfield. And there was no flag on the play. Uh, Storm Thurman crowd wants off sides. And now Coach Hillary going to come down and say, I think he was off sides, wasn't he? Nope. They say he did not jump. Well, he did. Torres had a running start at him, but stopped. Now he's going to call a timeout and ask the <coughs> official on the side. How did you not see him go across the field? We'll have to look at the Aiken Ophthalmology replay. Though with the angle we'll have, we wouldn't know. Well, we got a timeout on the field. Let's take a break, and we'll come back and see if we've got a replay of that when we return to the Aiken Standard Game of the Week. I knew he was in trouble. I didn't really know that it was a heart attack, but I knew he was in trouble. His right coronary artery was 99% blocked and already collapsed. So within 10 minutes, they had put a stent in. I'm so glad that we made that decision to go to Aiken Regional right away. We definitely made the right decision in going to Aiken Regional. I don't think we could have gotten better care. 20 to three, 26.6 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Strom Thurman going in the wrong direction after that sack. Puts him at third down in 26 yards for the first down. Let's see what Strom Thurman decided to do. They called a timeout to make this call. 
Back to pass. Looks downfield over the middle. Ooh. Comes up short, incomplete. Pass was intended for Josh Pixley. Josh got down on the ground, couldn't bring it up. So fourth down coming up. 20 seconds left to go in the third. Strong Thurman looked like they'd got something going and then a hold call and a sack makes it fourth and 26. End over end, that's gonna get over Moore's head. Didn't take a bounce for him. It's gonna roll inside the 20 yard line. So a good punt. And North Augusta finds themselves first and 10, channeled off from first and 10 from the 19. And uh, some people are getting up now. North Augusta will take over on the 19 yard line. Starting to make the way toward the exit. I uh, don't think there's too many yet. They may be going to the concession stand, to the bathroom <laughs> here in the in between the quarters. I think they'll hang in there and see if we've seen some pretty funny miracles in this this ball game. Well, speaking of that, there's a fumble. Ball there you go on the ground, and that seemed like it sat there forever as the clock runs out to end the North third North quarter. Augusta. North Augusta got it back. But Buxton able to get his own fumble back. And that and takes us quarter. through three quarters of our game of the week tonight. North Augusta leads 20 to three over Strom Thurman. We'll take a break. We'll be back for the final quarter when we return. You can't always be there to protect her down the road. Make sure the tire she's riding on will. With a revolutionary Michelin Premier tire, even when half-worn, it's still safe, thanks to Evergrip technology. The Michelin Premier tire, safe when new, safe when worn. North Augusta, with 12 minutes, a full quarter, left to go to have a happy ride home back to North Augusta. Coach shaking his head. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't agree with you, Ed. Uh, he's, he's, he's shaking his head over that last play, the fumble <coughs> that lost four yards. Very, very close. Check that, they lost five yards. This so is an area North Augusta hasn't 15. been in. This is an area they haven't been in. Backed up like this. Uh, he's going to keep, and he's going to get some he's room. He's going to get out of that area. Feel and up. He got the first he down. Get the first down to the 36-yard line. For a first down. So Tanner White, one thing that he does do well, he does run the football pretty well. He also tackles well, as we noticed before. But he's got some strength. Yep. He's picked up the linebacker and. Put him down, nice little wrestling move. He's done a terrific, uh, uh, really good game today. Channel it off for him first and 10. Hand oh, off. that's a big hole. And Buxton still going. Oh, oh nice hit. hit. But not before Buxton picks up big yardage into Rebel territory at the 39 yard line. He picked up 26 yards on that play. Mike Robinson had a nice hit. Ball spotted just over the 40 yard line. And here comes North Augusta looking to put a nail in the coffin. Keeps, does White, White gets outside. He's gonna pick up five yards or so. Quarterback keeper for a gain of four. Second down and six. Second down. We'll call it six. This ball is spotted just short of the 35 yard line. So give him four yards on the play, four and a half. Buxton 
keeps on moving, keeps his feet moving, able to pick up yardage. Looked like he was going to be down for a short game. Picks up four more yards. It's going to bring up third down and two. That was all leg strength there. And look for North Augusta, just keep it on the ground and run the clock. Might be wearing down the Strom Thurmond defense a little bit here. They've been out there a long time. Yeah, this especially second in the half. second half. Yeah. yeah. White keeps. He's going to get the first down. Almost slips through. Going to be just short of the 20 yard line. He'll move the chains. Chandler Law Firm first and 10. North Augusta looking good on this drive. Yeah, you got you got Strom Thurmond kids are they're, they're hands on the hips, struggling to get up. Tanner White breaking tackles everywhere. Bucks Ball spotted at the 22-yard line. Now White was looking to pass, and he's pushed out of bounds. And this time they do stop the clock. We'll have to check on. Now I think he threw the ball. I think he did he get rid of it. All right, now, so yeah. it was incomplete. So that, of course, does stop the clock. Second down and 10. And just when you say well, they're going to keep it on the ground, they decide to run a pass ball. <laughs> I know. Now so they're going to the ground. option. I'm going to keep and run it up the middle, get good positive yardage. Going to be just short of the 15. Quarterback keeper for a gain of six. Gain six yards, third down, third down, four. And the clock keeps running. A little hesitant to pitch and looked like Buxton was pretty well covered. So he chooses to keep and he's going to be just short of the first down, I believe. That means be fourth and a half a yard. And they may even bring the chains out to measure. They are. I think he still is a little bit short and I think uh, I don't think they're pulling the offense off the field. I don't think they're going to go for a field goal. There's really no need to, and uh, the, they're in control. <clears throat> okay, they stretch the chain. Looks like he's just short, about a half a yard. So North Augusta quickly runs, huddles up over at the 30 yard line, gets their direction. They are going to go for it. And why not? They're up 20 to 3. They got the game well in hand and see if they go with a quarterback sneak. That's what it looks yep. like as White gets up under center. Actually, he's trying to draw him offside, I think. Now he steps back, looks for the call. They're running the clock, if nothing else. All right, lines him up, hands it off. And he's got the first Buxton down. Buxton's going to have the first down and gets to the 10. They need to get to the 11. So they move the chains, That's chain the right law firm. Down. I believe it'll be first and 10. I think the ball will be spotted just outside the 10. So technically they'll have a chance to get the first down, but it'll be a half a yard outside the Tyler Tire end zone. Good night. We haven't had any injuries, so no Aiken Regional Medical Center timeouts on the field. Been good, clean game. North Augusta is just, uh, this whole second half has just worn Strom Thurmond down. I mean, we're halfway through, well, almost halfway through the fourth quarter, too. Going a little methodical at this point. 
And there's the option again in white. Getting chunks of yard, four, five, six yards at a time. That time gained down to the five yard line, six yard gain. It's going to bring up second down and four. Second down, four and a half, five for the touchdown. North Augusta, no hurry. And another keep. White battles to the goal Three line. The ball good. may have come out. They're going to mark him down. They're going to mark him at the one yard line, just short of the first down, as well as the touchdown. I believe they're a yard short of the touchdown, a half a yard from a first down. <laughs> They got plenty of clock. They could take their time and run a good bit off of this. And White seems to be doing just that. That's that's a good strategy. He's looking at the clock, which is right in front of him, down to 10. Now he runs it into the end zone. Goes North Augusta. North Augusta, for all yep. intent and purposes, puts the nail in Storm Thurman's coffin. They go up 26-3. to three. Extra point to come. With 624 left. Again, another drive that takes out a lot of the clock. Tyler Nichols missed his last kick. Makes up for it this time, puts it on top of the athletic building. And our score, North Augusta 27, Strom Thurman three. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. I always ask myself, would I want me to represent me? Would I want a lawyer who is prepared, who is passionate, who is capable? And every day that we represent our clients, we're telling our clients that you can count on us to bring every skill, every ability, and all of our passion in representing your interests. That's what it means to count on Chandler. That, that means that you can count on us to fight for you. 6.24 left to go in the ball game. North Augusta handily in front of Strom Thurmond, 27 to three. Strom Thurmond offensively had a tough time against the North Augusta defense. They put three points on the board after intercepting a pass, moving it down to the 12 yard line. They were only able to put three points on the board and that's their scoring in this game. North Augusta, on the other hand, three sustained drives for touchdowns and a kickoff return for a touchdown. In a game that we're used to having it be very, very close, now pretty one-sided for the Yellow Jackets over the Rebels. Nichols to kick again. drive and that's this may go bounds. out of bounds so we'll see if Strom Thurman decides to take the ball to 35 or will they have them kick again in the early part of the season we had a kick again <laughs> which was a little unusual did we yeah, we had, had quite a few of them actually in the first two games which in some cases it makes sense I know in the Midland Valley game, they did two times in a row. And then here comes a flag. And I have a feeling this is gonna be on one of the coaches over on the sideline. May have had some choice words. That's not a good thing. Unsportsmanlike contact against Strom Thurman. Sure, the one time that Strom Thurman was going to start at 35, push him back to a 20. Uh, one of the coaches said something to the official on the sidelines. And out 
came the flag, turned around and looked at him. I don't believe it was any of the players. Wagner, Sally, Dick. They're having their way with Blackville. Again, not too much of a surprise there. Oh, it's and a that final. That is a final. That game's over. So Strom Thurmond, we'll see what they can get out of this drive. So started 20. That pass picks up about seven yards, and now the clock runs. Again, that makes no sense as we watch this. The guy's momentum going forward, and he's obviously out of bounds. So sometimes they stop it, and sometimes they start it. And oh. this will be stopped. And a flag. And if they're calling holding on that, they did not hold very well. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was just going to say the same thing. It just... Uh, uh, it's holding. holding. If you're going to hold, hold. <laughs> I'm sure Hill is like, who do they hold? Fox Creek, Crescent all tied up. Mike's gut punched <laughs> with his upset special there. Everybody was okay. Yep. That was a chair that fell in a press box. I thought it was a door that fell off its hinge. That ball's tipped at the line of scrimmage, and it goes incomplete. So it will be third down. And it's third down and 13 yards for first down. Pressure coming from his yep. backside steps up, but here comes from the front. And a sack. So Strom Thurman will punt. And with 518 on the clock, this game is all done but the crying, I do believe. You know, we don't have a statistician, um, and we don't know how to find, but it would be interesting to find out how many total yards. North Augusta has given up this game, and I'm, I'm sure it's me under 150. Punt gonna go over, more Moore's gonna catch on a hop, bring it back, and <coughs> keeps the ball in Strom Thurmond territory at the 45 yard line. So 445 left to go in the ball game. North Augusta has Chandler Law Firm, first and 10. Again, this is a beautiful facility. One of our favorite places to come is here at Strom Thurman. They have great parking. They had lots of cars out there today. Yep. And lots of kids out there directing traffic to tell you where to go to get you parked. The uh, the facilities are first class. A lot of schools could learn a lot from coming up here and looking at what Strom Thurmond has done. Could run, that's Williams on the carry. Oh, I pulled in here and I pulled in the main parking lot. I told him, you know, showed my press pass and she, he says, you can't park here. You have to go around to the other side. And he showed me the directions on which way to go. They have a student drop off area too, right by the parking lot. And uh, I swung out there, came back, and they parked me right over here by this. Uh, I'm just behind the athletic center here, so. Good luck getting out. <laughs> well, we don't. I leave. just parked in the parking lot. We don't leave uh, to. Well, look at a parking lot right now. Oh, yeah, well, they're. And that's are, a, now they are heading out. <laughs> Williams on the carry. Williams is going to lose a yard. Bring a third down. Uh, we'll call it four. 
By the way, Tanner White is not your quarterback anymore. And talking about the the parking the the parking lot, this parking lot will empty in a hurry. They do a great job, and of course Columbia Road has some traffic, but not that much. Right. That they'll get out there and direct it and get them out of here, and they'll go in a hurry. It's one of the better ran places that we go to, maybe the best. Bring up fourth down. No gain on the carry. Fourth down and four coming up. Imagine North Augusta will look to run a play. I think Strom Thurmond called the timeout with 311. They well, want to come over here and talk about it. Well, if, the they clock call, if they call timeout, the clock is still running. Uh, it's a, kind of amazing that now they've stopped it. I guess somebody figured out. Uh, I guess they've stopped playing. Not unusual to see that at all. At any rate, the stadium, the, the home side, again, I, I would love to see Aiken High come up here and look at what they've done. And I know we're not made of money and that type of thing, but Haygood Stadium was built in, I think, 1956. Not a lot has changed. <laughs> they could uh, go a long ways towards upgrading that facility. Yeah. Uh, this one's nice. Uh, North Augusta is one, uh, one of the most impressive ones I've ever been in. Well, uh, th that's a natural amphitheater that's a, a great place. Uh, its parking is not quite the same as this place. Right. And it's not n as new as this by any stretch. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great place to play. It's very intimidating. Gonna keep, see if they can get the first down, keep the ball, oh, slipped through, and I believe he picked up the first down. Yeah, they call him down at the 34, just past the 35, and I believe that'll move the chains. First down, down, down. And that is a, and their law firm first and 10. So North Augusta will keep it and run the clock. clock is running I, my four-footed daughter is uh, back at the house alone right now so <laughs> get her get back to her settle her down for some good get the bed Williams Williams is a good running back he's got some pretty good yardage on the year coming into this game hadn't played an awful lot tonight And Godwin is now the quarterback. Again, he started the season at quarterback when Tanner White was a little dinged. And he's supposedly a much better runner. The White, very uh, impressive. Uh, maybe so, but White did a heck of a job tonight. Excellent uh, managing the game and, and running the ball. and really controlling the clock in the second half. It, it, you know, it was mostly him. I believe that was Alex Miller on the carry. Number 32, first carry for him tonight. He picks up good yardage. It's third down, call it three yards for the first down. Godwin carrying the ball. He gets up past the 20 First down, to the 21. That'll move the chains. Chandler Law Firm first and 10. And we'll run the clock down less than a minute. And North Augusta only really could take the victory formation if they wanted to here. I don't believe that Strom Thurmond would call a timeout. In fact, the way North Augusta is setting up, it looks like the victory formation with a guy back at safety yeah. on the offense. Way back. I don't know what kind of formation <coughs> that is. He's five yards behind the quarterback. Well, that's the victory formation, a little different version. The shotgun victory formation. Although 
you know, if you're going to do that, he snapped the ball. He could have took another second off the clock before he kneeled down. But oh nah, well. there's no need to do all that. Then you're leaving yourself open for somebody cutting loose and hitting you. True. And it's a good thing to do. It's classy. Not running up score, not trying nope. to score again. Yeah, you're right. And uh, one more snap before the end of the game. Takes it, and that'll be our final snap. North Augusta comes up the road here to Strom Thurmond, and they're going to go home victorious. Now, it's interesting, North Augusta, and I'm sure they told Strom Thurmond this, they do not shake hands anymore after getting into the fight with South Aiken last year. They decided that that was it. No more shaking hands for them. And uh, Although it looks like they're calling them back. Uh, they're coming back to the other end of the field. Oh, they, the uh, buses are over here. <laughs> talk, I talked with Ricky Myers after the uh, the game with Grovetown and asked the question. He said, yeah, after the fight with South Aiken, they decided that only coaches would go out and shake hands with the other coaches and that they would no longer shake hands with the other team. That it, they, they felt bad about what happened with South Aiken and said the best way to keep from having that happen just don't go do it. Mm -hmm. So that's our final, 27 to three. North Augusta is victorious over the Rebels of Strom Thurmond. Any thoughts, Mike? Well, you know, again, we said at the start of the game that the uh, defense for North Augusta was going to be something to watch, and, and certainly they were. Again, Chris Torres, uh, Charles Hammond, uh, and, and uh, you know, Collier, and, and just everybody was there, and, and you know, Strom Thurmond could not cross. It was the difficulty. He was going to cross their own 20 yard line. They started out in the hole through most of the game. Um, and, you know, they were behind. When they got to 7 to 3, then it was a busted play. They allowed to get to 14 to 3, got us to halftime. And then Strom Thur or North Augusta's offense just controlled the clock the second half and just really took over. And it's no uh, thing against Strom Thurmond. It was just North Augusta's defense in the first half, ball control in the offense on the second half. Final score there, you see it. North Augusta wins 27 to three over Strom Thurmond. We'll take a break and come back and wrap things up for another game of the week. We'll be right back. Aiken Ophthalmology provides high quality, comfortable and dependable treatment in Aiken and North Augusta. With our newly expanded facility, we now have four experienced physicians that are up to date on the latest procedures. And our surgery center offers the finest eye care technology available to better serve you. Make your appointment today with Aiken Ophthalmology. North Augusta handles Strom Thurmond 27 to three on Strom Thurmond's home field. They'll move on and region play starts next week. And uh, I'm not 100% sure who North Augusta gets next week. It'll either be Midland Valley, well they play Midland Valley later in the year, so I'm assuming it's BC. Um, so they'll play next week. We will be at Aiken High School and we'll uh, see South Aiken travel across time. And there we see Silver Bluff and Swansea battling 26-22 in that ball game. Don't know whether that's a final or not. Williston, Elko, and Ridge Spring are tied at 22. So and women, earlier we had Crescent and Fox Creek tied at 22, and now it's Ridge Spring and Williston, Elko tied at 22, so. so we're uh, not we sure which one of those is right, 16-8 uh, to 8 or 22-22. to 22, uh, we do know that Barnwell crushed Mid Midland Valley, though, so. Yes, 14, and, and 49, 30, 13. All right, Fox Creek and Crescent are 22-22. And the Ridge Spring score, well, they're yeah, updating they our scoreboard. But they amazingly, uh, ironically, both of them are tied at 22 all. And we do have that confirmed. So let's go live to Ridge Spring. <laughs> 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 well, I just blew the minds of everybody in the truck. <laughs> what? Hey, wait, wait, huh? No. <laughs> this isn't like the NCAA basketball <laughs> tournament. We can just switch games. <laughs> and Wagner Sally going to get a good win at Blackville Hilda. And uh, 
guess that's uh, going to be our scoreboard. So you'll have to pick up an Aiken standard in the morning and check the final scores, see who was able to come through. I guess we're looking at overtime, at least in two of those. And Silver Bluff with a four-point lead over Swansea at Swansea. So a lot to check on tomorrow. But our score here, our final score, 27-3. to three. North Augusta wins handily. And uh, again, we'll be at Aiken High School next week in the hot box. Hopefully things will cool down by the end of the week. <clears throat> and South Aiken will come across town and we'll have the Battle of Aiken over at Haygood Stadium. And we look forward to being there. We look forward to you joining us there. Again, our final score, 27 to three. For Mike Harris and all the guys in the truck and our camera people here tonight, I'm Ed Gerardo. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week at Aiken High. Good night, everybody.